Welcome to Starfinder The Fragments of Eternity, session 46. It is the 24th of March 2020. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players in some order. Yes, I know. Hi. I'm Alex, and I play weird Andrew Mechanic. <laughs> this is the Hi, end. I'm Callum, and I play Sig. <laughs> Cool space rap from this on. <laughs> I, I have to fill up with these fucking people week in, week out, except in the weeks we're not running. I have to no, put up with these cunts take my fucking place in the fucking petting <laughs> opera. <laughs> That's what I have to do. I'm a professor. How do I have to PDF? <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi, I'm Colin. I'll be playing Lyco. Uh. Welcome to our first broadcast in Corona Bowl 2020, first of its uh, and hopefully last, we will be reporting to you live from the uh, pending apocalypse, but more likely just real time, but you know, uh, it's going to be interesting, I think, I think we'll all look forward to looking back in this period in years to come and never showing it to our children. Ideally. And this is Nico here, reporting live for the COVID-19. You know, as soon as someone listens to this, it's not live. You know that, right? It doesn't matter. This He's reporting it live. Currently it's live, okay? Like, and is it though, or is this a pre-recorded, Nico? It's a horrible planet. A well, I'm from planet. Buenos Aires, and I say kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> we may or may not own that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get legal to work on it. <laughs> legal says no. I feel like it's a fitting scene at this point, quite in time. And I am Nico, and I'm playing Zora, the vest captain. <laughs> oh god. Carry on. So I think that's everybody done their intros, right? Somehow we managed to get through that fucking Horrible. mess. Oh, okay. We so, did it. quickest intro we've done. Okay. That's it, guys. Good night. <laughs> See everybody next time for another live update later. Oh, unfortunately, <laughs> <He's> social distancing. <laughs> he, he has uh, the, the, the deadpan delivery down to Sir Alex. He, he, he can... So, what Late do people remember from last time we ran? Callum! <laughs> so, Zig just kind of cheated decided he needed to chill out and meditate for a bit, so he, he just hung out with the egg for basically all of last session. Um, yeah, why uh, was that? Why didn't you participate? Huh? How come you, you weren't... Why, didn't you why, why, why were you um, so quiet? I, the Zig had a lot to process um, over, over the past few, you know, over the past few sessions. He's, he's you know, having a, a bit of a, a time of it, so he's deci he decided, you know what, I'm just going to take a I'm going to take a few moments of, and... Just let them do whatever they're doing. Um, we're on our way um, to get to get a ship anyway. Um, old Queenie hospitalized a man. Did she though? <laughs> well, <laughs> from what we, from like it looks like, like I'm convinced she hospitalized. Yeah. Zig might not. She definitely. Zig, yeah, Zig, Zig, Zig's giving her the benefit of the doubt because he was too busy. But um, Callum thinks yeah and she 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 incapacitated that poor fellow. I say poor fellow, he's pretty well off. Um just as a wee heads up for everything in general, my internet connection might not be amazing right now, so if I do lose you I'll let you know on my side because it will be on my side. Um for now. So if I ask you to repeat stuff just try and remember what you said. <laughs> oh okay. Oh, oh, my own own song. Pay extra attention to the words that I use oh no. I know, right. oh, boy. Possible. But yeah sorry carry on. Cal. But yes, no. So we so we get ourselves a nice, nice little fancy little craft to to take us to, out out the way, um, which is nice. And um, there's a, there's a there's a mini bar, and um, it's quite nice. And um, Zig obviously decided to kind of just hang with the egg and just keep meditating and, and chill out. Yeah. And uh, long story short, they're um, about what three days travel away from Eight. from I can't. Eight. I believe Eight. it's three. 
three? I thought it was eight. Yes. Look at the last <laughs> roll. Or something. Look at the last roll in the chat. <laughs> that memory. Bubbles. Okay, carry on. Sorry. <laughs> three and eight are similar. I mean, um, I yeah, like eight Vesk, three Vesk. You've still got Vesk, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's it. You know. Um, yeah, there was some really, there's some really nice moments last week. I haven't listened to oh, it with um, um, with Lyco and Weird. Um, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that. The new power couple. Yeah. Yep. New power couple. Mm -hmm. Sorry, kind of, kind of. It's fine. It's fine. Six got the egg. It's fine. And the queen. What's, what's, what's the shepherd name? Weirdo. There you go. Weirdo. <laughs> 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 Weird call, <cool>, maybe. <laughs> uh, um, I was gonna say, yeah, like liard. <laughs> liard. Um, oh dear. Uh, yeah, yeah, really, that's pretty much what happened. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, one, yeah, anything cool. else? Tad into that mix? Uh, yeah. We we think agreed that the decor was tacky. Yeah, that was a lot. Of yeah, they, the decor. decor. Mm -hmm. Is it decor if it's not really there? Yes, I'm gonna say. You have it here now. Was yes. there anything else? <laughs> what was there anything else? I can't remember. I don't think it was, was it? Really? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys. I rely on you guys to do this stuff. Excuse me. No, I think pretty yeah. much called the just Yeah, yeah just some minor crimes. <laughs> Oh, oh and um, you know we're we're gonna somehow either meet a contact from Conspiracy Craig or Conspiracy Craig himself. Stars. We just speak about it. Um, yes. Oh, yeah, good old Conspiracy Craig. Oh. Wait two wee seconds to see if there's anything I can do about this internet connection. I might switch to my phone and see if it makes a difference. Give me two seconds. Just because the uh, internet was bad after the apocalypse, yeah. Sure but children are. to send their roleplay details. Bye. I'm actually only getting some of this hilarious uh, diatribe, <laughs> I guess. Oh, I wouldn't describe it as a diatribe. It was more. I'm not sure. <laughs> Something <laughs> other than a diatribe. Let's see if I can. It's my more documentary. More? Yes. Ah, yes. Two seconds, I'm waiting on this, recognising my phone's hotspot. I want to be the David Attenborough of the apocalypse. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'll be the David Attenborough of Alex in the apocalypse as David Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the Dark Souls of video game. Uh. <laughs> Fuck off, Colin. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Video game. But in what way is COVID-19 the dark souls of coronaviruses? It, you know what? It is. Uh, <laughs> in a sense. Um, I should be one to fill your COVID with light! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to love that Capcom acting. Mm. It's beautiful. Actually, you know what? That was probably too good for that. I mean, light! <laughs> yeah, you held that note too well. What the fuck's that? Light! I guess it's probably just called talent, isn't it, really? I think I went there. All right, guys, hold, hold, hold fire. And someone think of a band. My chemical right. romance. So I'm back, no, everybody. Let's see if we can. Uh, <laughs> let's see how well this holds. Okay, so we're on my phone now. We'll see if this makes a difference. Hi, Ryan's. Phone, how are you doing? It's a hot spot, so we'll see how well this goes. It's still good, filth. Ooh, ooh. Hey, fa, you, there's no room for filth because of <laughs> filth. <laughs> <laughs> so, checkmate, Alex. <laughs> you got me. Uh huh. You um, it's a Venus <laughs> filth trap, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> did you see when you. Uh, did no, you see when we didn't because we're RPing, so. Continuing on. <laughs> goals. Goals. Everyone, oh, goals. Everyone, review oh, the goals. goals. So. I remember the goals. It really trips me up that they're now the other way around. That's the completed one. You don't have to worry about those. Yeah, I know, but it just it still tripped me up. I was like, oh, where are we? Wait, what? Oh, man, I I've, I've think my thing has gone back in time. But it didn't. It was just it was the other way 
be fair. Yeah? I really should just move this down. Oh, you're getting a bit. Am mm. I? Am I really? Oh, yeah. yeah. A bit. Really? How a bad? Bit. How bad is that? Is it really bad? It's yeah. fine now. It's fine for now, yeah. Okay. Very bad. Is it bad? Very bad, right? It's too bad. He's. He's. <laughs> oh. This is bad. Is it Chad too bad? <laughs> So goals, still waiting on this review, everybody. Previously on Goal Finder. I, I think we're good. I think we're making progress yep. towards some of them. I think we're going to improve the, the standing with CC and, and progress to uh, our next uh, stage of gathering of intelligence in my, order to... My Google Chrome has crashed, so can you tell me how unreasonable my goal was? Um, back to the final hour and regroup the brief. Make weapons to kill her money and store them safely. Secure ally and CC and get O-Graph. Oh, that, that sounded like O-O-O-Graph oh, oh, there for a second. Ah, 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 to pursue the next object and explore a possible connection between the solar and void eggs. I came to this town with only a dollar in my pocket and a suitcase full of the finest Colombian. Hey. I see we have yet to settle on an aesthetic for this apocalypse. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I've been discussing this, and I am the the intelligence on. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think I was. Uh, but what about the apocalypse? Yeah. Was... I am the Asian news reporter. Opulent slum queen. I think I went for. Um... Mm. Yeah. Yep. I'm a bit smelly. Sixties news reporter or something. I'm the hobo. Uh, sorry, the quartermaster locked in a vault. I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not opening the door. Not like broadcasting across the wasteland. You're the yes. I am. He came for me, so my buddy yes. did. Yep. Everybody okay here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. My roll twenty is trying to start. Yeah. Good. Good. I really try and do what you can. I mean. Re realistically, for this apocalypse, what they should have done is they should have announced when all the actual online RP sessions happen regularly, um, and they made exceptions for this, and then also exceptions for when we rescheduled to a Tuesday. That's very specific. Yes. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Ah oh dear, I've switched back to my main internet connection. I don't know if this is any better, quite frankly. I'm trying to work out what one's better. Um, well, well, we've not on this um, yet. I don't know. I think you switch between the two. I'll switch between the two. I don't really mind. Um, but we'll see if we can get through this, at least for now. As I said, just be kind. Do what you can on this side to make sure that you aren't stressing everything, like posting unnecessary things after have to upload to everyone's uh, discords. Not only really have I not done that, I wouldn't even conceive of doing that. Okay, I'm glad to hear that, Colin. <laughs> so, nobody wants to change any of the goals? I think we're good. I think we're, we're golden. Well, we've kept, we, we're, we're, we're well in the way, to, like, we're, we're semi-regrouped and semi-briefed, right? We're, 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 we're I mean, two of those could right. be completed to this session if these are, if these are good. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. I think we've made, we've made the our bed. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. I do feel like we're, we're progressing. I'm not changing mine at this point. It's been nothing like a ridiculous amount. <laughs> you need to make some very quick wins after the, these, though. Yes, yes. Who the fuck's emailed me on a fucking podcast? Doesn't matter. You should be focused. So, I'm always focused. speaking of focused like and whatnot, Alex and Callum, how are we oh, oui. looking for the goals? Are you all happy as is? I am. I never got that. Do you want to try that again? I'm oh, sorry. I, I am pleased. Okay. Okay. Do we have an Alex back with us? Maybe. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yep. Uh, maybe. Almost. Yep. Hey. There we go. You have me now. Excellent. I have you now. Have you now? One of my favourite video yes. quotes, actually, randomly. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking going No, Colin, no. Uh, <laughs> to Nepal. <laughs> Top 10 Vader quotes of all time. I have you now. I have you 
<laughs> leave number five. <laughs> 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 if you'd like to find out what number five is, subscribe to our highest level Patreon, and then I'll give you Colin's personal email. Uh, <laughs> Do we all know who number one is, though, right? I mean... Ah, buddy, stop. Anyway, so, we're happy with the goals then, Alex. Yes. Good. I shall move past the goal phase of this I'm chat. Going to fix my arm. We have gold up. Goal phase ends. Main phase is one. Fix armor, the you goal, say. Then. Yeah. Okay. That's your new goal. Cool. Yep. Something nice and cheap. Cool. Uh, yeah. That works for me. No, no issues with that at all. Right. Beyond that, uh, I guess. We'll just get started then in the actual game. So, I think the shot opens. It's the shot of the solar system as the packed worlds. Um, traffic zooming back and forth, people hitting their drift drives and whatnot. And then, camera pans in f towards Castroval, moves selflessly, starting to make its way towards Akaton's orbit. Passes the debris field and like ship reclamation fleet that surround where Absalom Station would have been, and then it like camera shifts into the drift space where everything goes blue and wobbly, and uh, we then see the, the azure flare within drift space. And then we go into one of the the windows that's probably the bridge. So who's on the bridge just now? Uh, probably not. How far into journey did you say we are pretty close, yeah? I, I mean, you're probably still on day one, right? So. Right, okay, so. Mostly I want to give people like time to do stuff. Yeah, I just want to make sure you have time to do whatever you want to do in downtime before we move on to. Uh, I'm out of character, I think. We need to discuss this last time, but. That's our point of order as well, actually. See if you are going to go out of character for any particular random chats. Try and state that, because sometimes, obviously, for example, Nico, it's difficult to tell between Nico and Zora and when you're being in and out of character. So I could just attempt to checkpoint it a tiny bit more. It'll come as second nature eventually, but... Entirely. Um Yeah, so the, uh, the Queen and her antics last... I think that's something we will have to discuss in uh, any debrief. Yeah, and maybe at so, this point, right, to set the scene a bit better for you, maybe people have just found a part of the ship to go and sit down on. Um, primarily, would it be Weird or Lyco, or in fact, indeed Zig, um, who are deciding to take their shift in the the bridge at this particular point in time? Weird has gone to find a wardrobe. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you can go explore. I'll come back to you in a wee second. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll remain in the, the cockpit for the time. The, cockpit, the bridge. Yeah, that's the fine. time being. This is far too large for a cockpit. Yeah, we uh, called it a cockpit a couple of times last time, but I realised it would be a bridge for the size of the ship that you're on. Mm. Now the... Yeah, based on that as well, you've got Zig. Um, we left the egg in the shuttle craft, Zig, but it's up to you what you want to mm. do with that. Um... Because this ship doesn't think... really land. The one that you're in, the Azure Flare, is like spaceborne, really. Like it can do an emergency landing, but it, getting it back off the ground is not going to be easy. Yeah, um, much I like think, the, the final lower would... as well. Yeah, I think Zig would would have been at this point sort of meditating with with the egg, and I think at this point, you know, kind of come back out of his reverie and waltzed out onto the ship, just leaving the egg in the, the wee shuttle. Yeah, no problem. And, uh, sure. Yeah, so I think we can focus on Lyco, and I think yeah, it's safe to say you're probably alone in the bridge, and yep. the I mean, the computer and the, the software of the actual ship itself's doing all the work. He pretty much plotted in please orbit Akaton, <laughs> K thanks, bye, and push yeah. the go button. So... Or at least weird did that. So, really, you're just kind of there making sure nothing beeps at you, I guess. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I, I'm there so that someone can come up. <laughs> right. So, is this 
is this an attempt at Lyco getting flight time in? I mean, he's not against it, but it's never been his jam, really. But do you uh, want to do a roll he... to see how much you pick up? Yeah. Because that'd, sure. that'd be worthwhile, yeah. What do you want me to roll? I think you Yep, go for it, boy. Yeah, hold on. I didn't actually have Lyco. Oh, my. Yo, you. Mm -hmm. um, oh, me. Piloting. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, but look, like, it's. I think maybe this particular ship isn't as hands on as maybe you would expect a ship to be. So, like, the 11th hour is definitely more hands on than this. Um, yeah. This is clearly designed to just really orbit pretty planets, right? It's not really meant to do much beyond you tell it to go somewhere and it just orbits it. It's And why would it be? It's a pleasure crap. Mm -hmm. So yeah. But it's not not to say that you wouldn't necessarily get um, a bit more info. Like At least it's a start to you putting obviously some knowledge behind you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gives me a bit of experience with that. Type of craft I've probably not really ever had to do anything with. Maybe I've been on a couple, probably. They seem like the sort of craft that crime lords might have, you know, <laughs> but I probably never had to actually guide one or, you know, program it or even keep an eye on it. Like, mm -hmm. so this is, this is a bit of experience, a bit of flight time, as you say. Um, what are the uh, facilities like, like, in terms of prop, I'm assuming we'd be too far out um, plug in to any particular planet's network. You can't in drift space anyway. Oh, we're in drift. Yeah, of course we're. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, so anything would just be stocked up until you hit a relay point. Um, there are relay points in trade lanes. So see, like the way to put it in terms we would understand. See, motorways have a phone, like an emergency phone, every so often. Yeah. Um, think of that, but like for a solar system, there are like beacons deployed that haven't been picked off by pirates or whatever. Um, okay. And they're just like signal relays. So if somebody got stranded, it would hopefully pick up the relay point yeah, and send it up the line. It back. Yeah. So, but that's only on the main trade lines, which is why you're meant to stick to certain routes. Obviously, use as the eleventh hour tend not to. Um, especially like on your way to Baskerville, that was in the middle of nowhere. Like if you had got stranded, you were screwed. Hence why there was like hazard pay and shit like that for that job, um, and also the risk of pirates. So, luckily enough, your ship, being in the politest way possible, unremarkable, uh, meant it wasn't likely to be picked off. Excuse me. We avoided the pirates by being the pirates. Excuse me. Yeah. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I was thinking, I'll, I'll discuss what I was thinking. Um, that is my home. You just spoke. Lyco is probably, uh, he's probably looking for something to sort of do with the craft, right? Like. He, he may find himself in the situation where like, uh, we've got this craft, we've stolen it, that's going to be noticed eventually. How do I not create an excuse, but how do I plant the seeds of of this having been taken by someone else, basically? How do I lead people away from this? Yeah, so you mean like scratch off the serial number, change the license plate, change all the registry yeah, documents. He, he really wants to like little, little breadcrumbs that might lead anyone that's investigating to think, huh, this was, you know, X or Y or, you know, leave, leave something that might be considered indicative of, you know, piracy or whatever. Although, again, the way in which it went missing might <laughs> preclude that, but there are perhaps other parties you could try and lay the blame at the foot of, I'm not sure. Yeah, why don't you I give me a why don't you give me a, a computer check, right? And we'll have okay. we'll see how well you do at this for it's now. It's not gonna be that well. And it's not so much you attempting the job, it's just you're trying to work out if you know what to do with this machine to see yeah. if you can do it from here. Um so like maybe you're starting to play around with a uh, computers and whatnot. And can you also relay perception check for me? Mm-hmm. Perception. <laughs> that's oh to know that's to notice Clippy at the side saying, I see you're trying to re register the vehicle. <laughs> no. The, this is uh, the night of the bad rolls for me. Uh, wasn't it last time we all rolled terribly, or is that my other game I'm thinking of? I think this, yeah, uh, well, we actually really was. Bad last time as well. Yeah, yeah. but like I don't know, maybe it's just roll twenties. Like give everybody bad rolls. It's been a um, long night. The so also maybe just that like was a bit tired at this point, to be honest, yeah. right? Because you've probably got a million things going through your head about 
all the conspiracy creek stuff, given maybe maybe even just your place and everything, given that now you're part of some kind of fucking Grand Theft Auto, right? So yeah, yeah, but you hear a voice and like there's a hand that rests on your shoulder. Um, okay. <laughs> and the okay. the the queen's voice says, "Can I assist with anything, Lyco?" And you probably do get a bit of a start at that, the fact that there's contact in the voice at the same time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think he would give himself away too badly, but I'm sure she would probably, you know, pick up in a slight flinch or something like that. Because um, I imagine, you know, he's, he's a guy he's pretty used to being stuck up on. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it doesn't happen too often these days because he sort of honed those instincts, but he's good at sort of poker facing it. Um, I think he would, you know, maybe give a, a flinch that she'll, you know, because she's got her hand on her shoulder, she'll she'll notice it definitely. But you know, another person might. Um, yeah, and she's and she she's sl she's slow to lift the hand away, but she does lift it away once like your attention's kind of like settled. If yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, um, I think he would. Uh, so you know, take a, a moment, just a moment. Actually, a moment's maybe an overstatement. Like an instant, you know, like a beat. Uh, and then he would, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not actually sure we need much done at the moment. Um, perhaps, hmm, I don't, I don't know how much you've picked up, but perhaps you could help uh, once we get into a position to access the, uh, what do we call sp cyberspace in this? Like, okay. The drift. So you're in drift no, no, travel, no, no, but do you mean not, not you can just you know I mean like literally the, oh. the internet like you know you can just oh. call, you can call it the internet or yeah. like internet yeah just call it the internet if you want like um I know you could call it the, the infosphere yeah the infosphere, the infosphere I guess yeah, is probably yeah, what it's called yeah. the most, yeah. mm -hmm. and, uh, I don't know how much you picked up about the uh, the infosphere uh, from the owner but I uh, I was hoping to leave behind some trails that might lead away from us so that when someone if someone investigates they'll you know they'll not have any reason to come for us over it I think she takes the seat next to you because um, there's maybe two that would be like side by side at the the front of the yeah. the control panel and uh, she kind of like does that thing where she sits and then she tests it by moving it side to side as well like feeling like the leather arms and then a uh, or full leather arms I guess and a uh, synth leather anyway. leather yeah and then she looks up and she says I've been having similar thoughts myself I am still working my way through what I have gained and she just gives you like a look meaning she probably won't want help. But she then says, I would like to send a letter to the former owner. And then she like gestures okay. to the control panel. And what would you want to say in your, let's call it a letter for convenience? She smiles at that um, as like a kind of an unspoken thank you, maybe. <laughs> and uh, she says, I feel it's best I clarify some finer details of my new ship. I look slightly quizzically at her. Some people are reluctant to give up what they can no longer hold on to. I hope to show him wisdom. She just smiles well, at you. I, uh... I, uh... I, I worry that, uh... Perhaps... And I feel it's perhaps because of your worry I should send this letter sooner rather than later. It's not likely to be until we're more or less arrived that we can contact anyone uh, perhaps can prepare in advance what it is you intend to send yes 
I would. Uh, and she leans, she leans back in the chair and like starts to like recline it back the way, and she's still just like slowly pivoting it like from side to side as mm -hmm. much as it will go. I would perhaps suggest that some of us or one of us or whatever take a look over over what you're not because we are suggesting that you're going to be in any way communicating anything to him. That's that's besides the point, you, really. You have concerns. I have concerns because I don't know. Even if you gained the knowledge, uh, there's a degree of. <sighs> I, I don't know how it works, so may, maybe I'm wrong. My assumption Let is. Let me there's clarify. A it is not gaining knowledge. Think of it more like. And she sits and she puts like her finger against her lips with like her sharp nail just touching her nose. And she then stares out into like the blue kind of haze coming towards you through the the windshield, as it were, or the space windshield. Spinshield. The solar windshield, <coughs> yeah. And then she looks back and she goes, Fishing. You cast a white net. And then you... Look over what you have claimed. You do not immediately know how many fish you have caught. Am I correct? I would assume so. And she kind of just like nods very kind of gently. I am still counting my fish, as it were. I will c I... construct Sorry. this letter, and you may read it before I send it. One moment, guys. Intermission. Fantastic. This is a content our subscribers pay for. Sadly. It's worth every penny they pay. Sadly. I, I agree. <laughs> I I'm, concur. I'm back. Repeat all that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Just <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, she sits there, um, and I guess she maybe just waits for a response, to be honest, after that. Yeah, okay, I, I would say, uh, just to, to clarify on my end, I obviously I don't know how much you know. My main concern was more a case of, I don't know, perhaps this is something Zig would understand more because of his... She smiles at that. Uh, his uh, abilities. But there's a, a considerable distance between uh, knowing of something and being of something. And you've sort of sat outside the world for a long time, right? And so whatever knowledge you gained, it m might be the way you use it, the way you talk about it. I'm concerned you might do it in the manner of someone who is looking into this world from the outside. That's not a bad thing in and of itself, uh, but there could be concerns about how it's interpreted by someone who does live their life here and now, who doesn't have any time but this one. Um, she like takes in a breath and just know. smiles. I am... Um... And then she says, If you survive your own quest, perhaps a seat on my council would suit you well. I'm very honoured. <laughs> uh... As you should be. You have been hand-selected <laughs> by the Queen. Yeah, he probably... Like, she is, she like, is laughing like, to herself at that. Like that. Mm -hmm. Um... And then she kind of like leans forward ever so slightly, and it's maybe the first time you've ever kind of noticed her in a, I guess, it's slightly more her being relaxed, but also slightly seductive in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, she's not being shy. Uh, I'm about, the treatment now. Yeah, she's not being shy at all in that regard, and she says, however, do not mistake the fact that I will be sending the communication I wish to send, regardless of your review. 
Core. She's gonna I, know it's uh, very currently at that. <laughs> I mean only to advise. Your words cannot yeah. offend me, Lyco. However, I feel if you become my advisor, my protection will benefit you, given that your words may offend others. Ah, uh, yeah. I've made some enemies in my time, but, you know, it's not usually been my words. Blame for that. And she looks at you kind of dead in the eyes, no pun intended, and she says, Is your condition fatal? That is an interesting question. Yes, and we can talk about it more when you're more comfortable. For now, the communications panel. She kind of like waves to the... Okay. And, then, and she's like, when she says that, she turns back and says, the writing desk, if you will. And waves to the, the controls. Uh, yeah, if she wants to take over the seat or whatever, I'll let... No, it's like she just gestures for, like, can you bring it up? Essentially. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. So just yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Uh, Would you yeah, like me it. to dictate this to you? Would that ease your worry? It's not concern either way. If you, pre I can do that. If you prefer not to, you can. She like holds up her hands to you, like showing you the backs of her hands, and you just see like ten like bladed nails. Perhaps that wouldn't be as easy for you. And she kind of like uh, she claps her hands in front of her, and she just kind of nods and smiles. Thank you. I will happily do that if that. Yeah. So you bring up the kind of like outgoing really communications mean. thing, and then she she gives you an address, essentially a bit like an IP address, um, for the like the destination. And it comes up with the the guy who owns the boat's name, like it pre-populates, um, okay. for his personal comms, and then she starts dictating. And essentially, it's her listing general whatever your job profession thing was for me. In fact, um, job profession it was beauty hunting. Yeah, don't just roll that for me. Cool. Twenty. So, when she's finished dictating this to you, um, I'm assuming you can correct me after the fact, but I'll just make the assumptions on the scene just now. I'm assuming you've typed everything she said, and you were reading it I as you should. go, but what I mean is, <laughs> you very quickly see this as a like list of every single crime this guy has ever been complicit in. Okay. And it's a lot of, um, for example, stock market manipulation, um, such as insider trading, etc. Uh, with the right people, it's probably what this boat is used for. Um, and yeah, you could probably buy a ship based on the bounties you could claim from this guy if he was different people per crime. <laughs> per that okay. Way. Okay. Yeah. Like he just. And she says. There is no need to sign it. I think he'll understand who it's from. And it pretty much just agrees to the transference of property. Um, this is... not the approach I expected, but... if... She puts, her, but she puts her hand on your shoulder as you're saying that, and she says, Your concerns are also my concerns, Lyco. I believe as your captain, sorry, our captain would say, you're, we're in this together. And indeed we are. Uh, if you can back this up, I don't see how he really ha has any choice, but go along with it. Yeah, like, even if, I, like, depending on how much you paid attention to what you were typing, everything that's there, like, that message confirms everything with evidence and location of files and, like, what servers people would have to go and, like, 
claim to go and like check through and whatnot, if that makes sense, to legally uh, confiscate. So, yeah. Even like people in the stewards that have maybe been a bit less than a... What's the word? A efficient in their filing, right? When it came to certain things, yeah. Maybe a certain evidence was lost in certain places, you know. So, mm. it's basically been how this guy's managed to make so much money so quickly. Yeah, I wouldn't have enough. Like, I, I think it still, you would still say that. Cause, you know, he's not going to have had yeah. the opportunity to, you know, follow every lead and what have you. Yet. She, so he, he's, I think it's still caution. Uh, if you want to confirm my message and thus not betray me, she laughs at that. I push the blue button and then the red button. And she just kind of gestures at two blinking lights on the control panel. Um, well, I've not read anything in it to give me any... Genuinely, like, there's powers, nothing so. nothing in that besides it being a complete blackmail letter from himself to himself would make you question it because it's from his own account to his own account, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, I, I say... So you push the blue light, then the red light? Yep, yeah. Cool. The ship control panel tells you the emergency beacon has been launched. Emergency beacon? Mm. Ha. And then, as you say, ha, you feel her grip ever so slightly and then let go of your shoulder and she says, think of it like a courier braving the storm. And she leaves the bridge. Hmm. I hope that beacon didn't have anything for him. <laughs> <laughs> the beacon's not the yeah, by any chance, is it? No. 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 Um, do you want to roll engineering? <laughs> roll engineering Sorry? for me, I'll see if I can answer that for you, otherwise it might need to be weird that answers that for you. Oh, wow. Nope, it's going to be weird that has to answer that for you, so maybe I want to go ask him that question. I will... Uh, <laughs> yes, I will get up and go and seek him out. Yep. You've got comms on the ship as well, remember? And you all have personal comms, so you don't need to I specifically... I prefer to do that. Yeah. Well, she's left anyway, so she's wandered off as well. I mean, it's not like this place requires constant supervision. Nope. Well, yeah, maybe that's the next scene then. So, weird. Where does Lyco find you? Um... I think he's probably found some big walk-in wardrobe somewhere. Yeah, you're asking about wardrobes. So, yeah, there's loads of, um, again, multicultural collections. Um, oh. It's almost as if this person decides to host in different cultures' attire. Um, how much of it will fit you, I don't know, but you could probably try and wear some of the trousers as, like, three-quarter lengths, probably. It's, when you say it's different cultures, is there anything for Kassathan? Uh, why don't you make a d20 roll, and if it's 10 or higher, we'll just say yes. Uh, nice. Because I have no preference either way. There you go. Weirdly, it's 90. in your exact size. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. Made to me. What would a 20 mean? Like, it has his name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Weird was a future client of this guy. <laughs> the time has been slightly met. Is this future <laughs> or is it past? Yeah. Are we dancer? So yeah. I think the uh, the answer is this guy has prepared to meet Kasathan dignitaries but hasn't. So yep. he's obviously prepped well enough that if he has dealings with that he doesn't need to go source that stuff. It's already there. So there's some very, very posh Kasathan clothes. The outfit that you're looking at just now is like the equivalent of an everyday kimono that is handmade. Okay. Which is rare as balls in space. Yep. Because A, it's Kasathan, and B, it's handmade, which means this guy's paid a small fortune for that. I will put that on. Can, I, can you roll a fortitude save? I don't know. Can I? 
You have never felt comfort like this before. Ah, <laughs> I, I can believe that. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So is it one of those big style commodities? Yeah, you can describe it if you want. You want to just tell us what it looks like then? Um, oh, I might have to go do some, mm -hmm. some fashion shopping. Yeah, we can have a wee think about that, but yeah, you can describe it as yeah. you wish. But it's essentially practical wear without skimping on the money, because somebody could look at it and go, holy fuck, this person's rich. Yeah. yeah. So it's... Uh, I've got an image in my head. I, don't, I need to try and find a picture. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm picturing like a, an almost full length or mm. down to the knees. Yeah. So I'll probably find some trousers to go on. Nice. Something I imagine equally kind of well yeah. cut. Linen, That's it. Yeah, you can like that. you can definitely find a full outfit in terms of uh, what a Cassathan would wear like to go around their day, as it were. Yeah. As I said, so yeah, you can find that no bother at all. Excellent. So yeah, maybe that's uh, when Lyco yeah. walks in and you're finished kind of doing up the the kind of belt sash, as it were. And then putting the cape on. Yeah, over the top of it, obviously. <laughs> yep. Do you switch it to being like a, a one-shoulder number, though? Or do you keep it as your two-shoulder? I think when it comes to you know, I wear it as a two-shoulder because that's all I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yep. So, Lyco, you walk in the, again, like, personal cabin section, which is essentially a bed and a walk-in wardrobe. And uh, yeah. you see Weird there standing, putting his cape on. In a uh, fetching kimono. Uh, interesting. Interesting. You Thank you. I was concerned that he wouldn't have any clothes in my appendages. Uh, that's an understandable concern. Um... I had a question about how something this ship worked. I thought it'd be easier just to ask you rather than my, you know, self to the digging because eh, you... that seems logical. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some sort of beacon has just been sent off. I confirmed a message the queen had, had typed, and it. Presumably she knew in advance it was going to do this because, of course, she's inherited some sort of knowledge of how this ship works. Uh, it sent... What the hell is this beacon? And should I be concerned about that? Uh, do you want me to roll for that, Aaron? No. Expensive ships have yep. probes you can just launch that as soon as they get launched, so long as they're made well enough, they'll survive the drift turbulence and will just be knocked out mm -hmm. of drift space wherever they are. Thus they'll transmit yeah. to the nearest beacon. Yeah, so he just dropped dropped his cell phone, basically. Back out. Out of drift. Oh, it's, so it's it's relay sort of pro. Okay. Yes, I hope there was nothing urgent on there. I doubt it if the, that's the case. The captain she should have been informed about. Perhaps, but... Uh... Eh. <laughs> uh, she, uh... She wanted to smooth over the situation. The individual who owned the ship. She had some information on him. If it all checks out, and I, based on what I saw, in fact, read, in fact, typed, uh, I dic she dictated it to me. I, I, uh, I believe it's legit, and uh, if that's the case, then, well, he really doesn't... He really doesn't have much recourse. He's uh, he's left himself vulnerable, and uh, and I don't think we should have any particular concerns on account of the ship. Uh, the beacon. I'm I'm not too worried. If 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 we're just talking about relay some pro fine whatever, just beacon. That's. I was concerned. That uh, her her knowledge of everything in this guy's life and and everything you know that she's taken from him about this time wasn't going to translate, and I think that wasn't an illegitimate concern because well, she still phrases things 
like. Well, she got it a beacon. Who, who, who says that? It's fairly archaic, I'll give you that. She. Yes, she'll have his knowledge after she consumed his mind, or whatever that was. Um, I love the idea of like just yes. turning around and saying like fish under his breath. <laughs> <laughs> I know you probably won't, but like in my head, that's what happens. <laughs> but yes, I imagine everything will be translated through context. Uh, uh, imperialistic drow mentality. <laughs> uh, yeah, and also, well, her particular era. Yes, yes, somewhat outdated. So, uh, yeah, that that was my feeling as well. But all seems, it all seems pretty all right. I, I don't think that's concern. I just. Wanted to clarify what kind of beacon we were talking about. I don't really. I'm not a ship's guy. Mm -hmm. Of course, although, given your work, perhaps it would still be more intro, more useful to gather information about this figure. As you know, perhaps uh, yeah. a a criminal interest, not to take kindly to a theft against him. Even if I agree. the legitimate means. It's, um... It's something I'll be considering. Keep in mind as well, Colin, mm -hmm. for Lyco's knowledge here, like, you did do, like, a quick background check on the guy to see if he had ties to Aspis and such, and you couldn't yeah. find anything, so you could always attempt to... You dig, know. dig further. Mm -hmm. Um... Or, I mean, just, like, share that with Weird as well, to be like, I have already had concerns before this, and it didn't seem that bad. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know how confident I am, but mm -hmm. there's a the limited digging into it. Um, it was very surface, so I'll give you that, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't come away with the suspicion that he was really up to anything, and obviously he was, so... Um, yeah, no, I, th I, th I think that's pretty much what, what, what like was to say. So you, you make excuses, as it were. Uh, Are you sure you don't want to smarten up to you, Lyco? You know, I prefer not to take anything. But then he's not going to... You've already taken his ship. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't intend to. This, but... All of these things have already been taken. It's such an Akatonian <laughs> mindset, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I wouldn't <laughs> like, <that's a> good <laughs> point. I wouldn't normally wander around wearing evidence, but having said that, this guy isn't likely to make too much of an attempt to get anything back. So... It might not be the worst idea to change up my wardrobe a little. I haven't updated in a while. Yes. You could do with a fresh... Sorry, I missed that, Alex. <laughs> I said you could do with a freshen up. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that under uh, under advisement. Uh, okay, let, let's let's have a look. And, uh, and I do. I have a look. Would you like a roll or something to see what I find? Or, you know? It just depends. Have you got your eyes on something specific? Any particular Not culture? Really. I definitely feel like he's browsing. I mean, I mean, you could you could find like a smart suit if you wanted. I feel like he has smart suits. I mean, where though, Colin? Where? Oh, on, the, on the ship, probably. On the eleventh hour, on some versus generic, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> some generic, uh, some generic clothes and traveling. It might. Um, there's an excuse to say it might be in the car hole. That's like I think I mean, possibly most things could be been relocated to car hole. Some, mm -hmm. some of it probably has ended up there. Yes, uh, and some of it you'll be wearing. Right, you'll be wearing everyday clothes. Like he's not just wearing armor. You'll have clothes under it and on top of it. Um, 
like he, he isn't just wandering around in battle gear. He tries his best to sort of conceal. Yeah, but you're or de-emphasize. You, I was gonna say, yeah, your under armor is unlikely to be particularly well kempt though in terms of uh, it'll be comfort, oh, no, it it'll be comfort gear really. Um pseudo practical in that sense for the the armor. Also, yeah, I don't know, it's up to you. Like you tell me the type of outfit you're looking for, the guy probably has it. Um that's a good question. Uh, what should I look for? We're, we're, we're going to Akaton. Where are we heading after Akaton is a good question, something we'll have to discuss. Um, I don't know. I feel like I should look for something that will sort of blend in anywhere, but that's that's pretty hard. Well, Akaton's a bit of a junker planet in terms of that. There's not really yeah. a... A concern really about a dress code, yeah. yeah. Survival is the dress then, code. Resident Evil that, 3, I, I, there you go, there's think... your dress code. <laughs> the the movie, uh, not the game, that is, obviously. I haven't seen the... Th oh, no, I think I have. Is it the really bad one, the clown car scene? Um, uh, don't know what that means. So I, no, I, th I think... I think, um, I think you want something that's sort of suitable to generally anywhere you might end up. Like, something that isn't too specific. I'll look. I know that's a silly thing to say. I don't look specifically like something, but you know, he's not looking to dress up in a specific cultural getup. Just sort of mainstream packed something world. Something more generic. Fashion. Something. Something that just looks packed world city. I think that's why I suggested a suit, right, in like a smart shirt or something. Um, yeah. Are you going for the, going for the blazer or... and blazer and shirt? No tie. Let me show off somebody who we can all take a leaf out of his wardrobe. Where are you? Why don't you go Miami Vice? Or that? Oh. Where did you post it? Where do you think I posted it? Oh yeah, right, where is there? Uh, you know what, actually? <sighs> He's a dapper gentleman. I feel like I feel like that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I mean you can have really you can have obviously the sleeves rolled up on the the shirt. You can have the collar undone, you know, you know, letting I out th that that necrotic really energy. Like, I think maybe you look for one that is obviously very good quality, but le relatively unpretentious, like nothing too flashy. Yeah, Just one a that nice one that shows that you're suit. professional, but not. Trying to show off, yeah. Yeah, something like that. D twenty, roll me. Uh, and one, uh, d twenty. Oh god. Ah, uh, wait, I forgot to write the one. Yeah, you get one that's surprisingly well fitting. Lovely. Yep, the space uh, to adjust all the sleeves weirdly is at the exact points where your blades would come out. That's convenient! Isn't it just? <laughs> <laughs> it's as if all of this is in some way organised. Like his wardrobe. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, cool. Uh, I think I will wear that now and pack my clothes into some sort of bag. Does he have any convenient carrier bags? I will steal them. <laughs> yeah, let's see. <laughs> at the top of the uh, the wardrobe, there's like a, a couple of holdalls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hold up. Oh. Like a, fa uh, a fancy, uh, yeah. oh. a fancy business one. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I probably take my armor off for the moment as well because I figure we're landing in a, in a world and we're going to come in. Maybe not on this. Oh, you're going to have to sleep but... before you get in there at some point. Do you know what I mean? You're not going to stay up for three days, so. Yeah. But also, we're going to be coming down from a fancy craft, right? Is my thinking. Yeah, because uh, you're going to have to so take the shuttle. Maybe... Yeah. So maybe he'll, he'll wear that to sort of get a sense of it and then, you know, take it off, put it back on in a couple of days' time when they're coming back down so he doesn't look too out of place coming off the craft. So I think, uh, the scene I think that's something that would occur to him. The scene that I have in my head now is Zig making your way in to, like, the main kind of lounge jazz bar, as we described it before, and uh -huh. Zora sitting there stubbing out the last of a, a cigar, I think. Um, and then 
I don't know, is there a scene between you two before the others join us, or what happens? You talk, both of you talk to me. Um, hmm. I guess when Zag walks in, I would say, how's the egg? Zig would uh, nod at the captain and say, good, good. Kind of broke up. Yeah. It's just a good, good. If you just say good. Cool. And nod. Good. Uh. <laughs> 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 and it's just you two in this room, so is there this awkward moment between the two of you? Because obviously, like the last time, we've properly seen the two of you interact, really. Yeah. Would have been your disagreement, minus uh, the city yeah. adventures. Uh, so I guess after like an awkward silence, of, like. Uh, yeah, because so... I think you say good, he says good, and then obviously I think the camera does that thing where it clicks to a wide shot where both of you are in the shot, but like, you are at the furthest away points from the room, a side on. <laughs> uh huh. And then it maybe clicks back to you know a closer shot on like the captain saying. So I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, drink. <laughs> that would turn up a drink. Sig <laughs> would. Uh, so like, what would nod. What step do you make, forward. What do you give him to drink, or what do you go to make him to drink? So obviously you need to go to the bar and such to get him one. I, I, I like as I say, drink. I would kind of like lift up an alcoholic man. I'd be like, oh, wait, uh, uh, but I'd like, pick up something non-alcoholic. But I'd be like, oh no, like oh no. I've just got to, I've got to go to my again. What do you want? <laughs> um, Zig would just kind of walk over next to the captain and kind of just point at a random bottle of something. Is this what like a fall off he was like when like, a baby just gets dropped in front of his door? It's like Big Daddy all over again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not because what one of those exactly. would give them alcohol? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. But right. <laughs> right, sorry, I got sidetracked. What was the last thing it was said? Uh, uh, nothing. Like you, you just said drink? Uh, question mark? Nothing. And um, held up the oh, balls. No, yeah. What uh, was it? What did? What did you want? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, like... Zig, Zig would walk over, kind of next to the captain, start like pointing at a, a obscure mix of of drinks. I just believe scratch my head and I believe like, the brat mode. Yeah, I don't like much of that either. Bra- <laughs> I love the idea of both of you up at the bar though, just the shot from behind you with the height difference and like Zig probably has to lean up on his tiptoes to actually see properly onto the bar. And uh, mm-hmm. just having Zora be like what eight foot or some shit, like just looking down at the like the contents, being like, "Ah, uh, what do you want?" It's it's glorious. <laughs> is he does a drink himself? So this is rubbish to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, I genuinely, I think, I think uh, Zig would just point at the most brightly coloured. Um. Wow! Okay. So <laughs> I I want the alcohol. <laughs> Give me the WKD. <laughs> Give me that the Blue Wicked, Wicked man. Hey, we're um. not sponsored by Blue Wicked. Don't give them free your time. <laughs> if anybody from Blue Wicked wants to sponsor us, uh, don't. I don't think I've drank a Blue Wicked since I was legal to drink. I do you know. I don't think I've actually ever drank a Blue Wicked. Just if you yeah, get some. Get a cup of water, pour half of it out, then pour in a half bag of sugar, and then some blue dye, and then some, I don't know, a shot of taurine for good measure. Done. Yeah. One of those, please. <laughs> <laughs> I will take the bottle and, like, get a sniff. It cries. <laughs> is, this a, is this a potent smell? I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, anyway, uh, it's, <laughs> it probably does smell alcoholic. Yeah, I think most of the drinks in here are alcoholic. Uh, fuck it, I'm getting like a small glass. Give him a shot glass, right? I'll give him a shot glass. There we go. That's perfect. 
It's a normal glass for Zig, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh. The um, I mean, you could attempt to dilute it without him noticing if you really wanted to. N nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Yeah, so I guess you get handed something you've pointed to. It's probably bright orange or some shit like that. Let's face it. Yeah. So it's, it's the brightest, most orangey yellow colored, almost glowing thing. I mean, and I he just he just spec. next it. <laughs> can Fort, I roll for Fort save? Illness. Fort save yes. <laughs> <laughs> roll for the roll for both. Um. Before yeah, before you, before you give me that, can Zora give me a d20 roll? He's not exactly he's not exactly too young, right? right? He's, he's he's like late teens, almost twenty, isn't he? I mean, in he's his life. He's in, twelve. In that years. Twelve. <laughs> he's twelve. And, he's, and, no, he is. Like, he Paris. is twelve. He's twelve years old. That's pretty old for a fucking. That's that's getting. That's yeah. like that's young young adult. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's that far off to be honest. Um, it's on page something, right? Twenty eight or some shit, or forty one yeah, for maybe. Forty one, yeah, and they mature at ten, which is the equivalent of an eighteen year old for a human. So. Yeah. It's right on the the British standard. We're still eighteen. Yeah. Am I just that behind the times? Still eighteen hundred. Yeah. It? So yeah. realistically, it's about <laughs> Zig's about twenty. The equivalent of. Oh. I don't feel so bad. At least I had to get a minor drunk. Oh no 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 no. Good. Uh... Yeah, I think I think Zig just just act just necks it because that's what he's seen other people do. Because <laughs> he's he's not had much. He's not a drinker, really, mm -hmm. um, because most of his, his life has been devoted to just sun facts. If you can, give me your fort safe now. Sure. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Yeah. So, I think as soon as this hits your throat, you start coughing. No. Oh. <laughs> What the, what's that stuff? <laughs> yeah, That's it, horrific. It lasts for a minute, by the way. It's like a minute. Oh, heck. Um, yeah. I would <laughs> laugh as you did choose your poison. <laughs> <laughs> poison's, poison's the right word for it. During this minute of like Zig coughing, laugh, yeah. Cough like, today. Like during this minute of him coughing, did, yeah. does at any point Zora feel bad? <laughs> the, 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 he broke up with as if he walked. Yeah. Bad. Guilty, I think he's. Bad. Yeah. Uh, oh, I would find it funny, quite frankly. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> your youngest. As well, one mate. Your youngest crew member is actually choking for a minute solid. Good to know the captain's got his back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the cool uncle, all right? Like, <laughs> yeah, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, unless you die. Uh, yeah. <laughs> In which case, maybe Hopefully. you'll be like Lyco, your other uncle. Um, I think <laughs> at, at that point, it kind of sort of scrambles along the drinks cabinet to find some form of not so alcoholic -y thing, but just goes for the clearest looking look. There you go, is it? Is it? It's a, it's a look bad. I mean, it's a minute of someone choking, so probably. Oh, it may have looked good for the clearest liquid. Does the clearest yeah. liquid look bad? Is it's, what I mean. It's a, it's a gamble. It, it looks like a liquid. I mean, <laughs> it's in a, a long glass bottle. Everything with possibly a red label. <laughs> everything here is in a decanter. Remember. Oh. Uh, uh, is there a tap? Is there a what? A tap. A tap? No. Is there a thing? <laughs> there, there, there's a mini fridge full of what looks like uh, bottled water, if that's what you're looking for. 
Oops. Right, yep, yeah, that's what we're after. <laughs> that's what we're after, yes. Yeah. None of these alcoholic vodka looking drinks. <laughs> yeah. A spot guy. You can get some Space H2O. Beach 2 yeah. Tanning one of those then, please. Tanning uh, GTO is like our 15. Dear God. Surprise, it's it was spin all ball. along. Well, spin would have looked like a vermilion red, sadly, so luckily he never sent yes. those colours to me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a fucking expensive drink, spin. One yes. glass costs yeah, 666 credits. Like, maybe a bottle. You know, for the, the he de spin, there okay. is definitely a bottle of spin in this ship, yes. And it's probably on display in a decanter. So, yeah. Of course, as fucking pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> With that lovely sulfur smell that it has. Um, but yeah, so Zig nearly dies in the jazz bar. So. I think maybe at this part where Zig gets his glass of water or his bottle of water and then I don't know, like you just turn around and you see in the corridor a kimono adorned four armed weird with a suited up and duffel bagged uh Michael. Fancy. Oh. Um, I think Zig would kind of like try and compose himself, but kind of over compose himself. So, you know, goes to like lean on a stool, kind of misses it the first time and goes, oh, oh, oh yep. Yeah, um, hi, uh, weird. Zig. Uh, you all right? Good nods. <laughs> Maybe take another swig of the water. <laughs> hey, okay. Mr. Q. <laughs> Can I roll perception? So even like you Zig finger too. guns. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... See, so you've discovered the, uh... <laughs> the drinks cabinet. <clears throat> it's, um... Alex, we're getting some interesting noises from your side, Alex. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's like so. It's like almost chair. like a it's yeah a chair moving, but then it sounds like someone on an old timey radio. It's like rain. No, wait a sec. Off. <laughs> um. But yes, carry on, Calm. Um. Sorry, you kind of broke up for me there. What? I said carry on. <laughs> oh, carry on. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, he would kind of just pull himself up onto onto a stool and kind of sit and try and, you know, compose himself from his coughing fit. Yeah. And just say, what's 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 the deal? <clears throat> <clears throat> Not. Not much happening at the moment. We uh just in a nice little look through this closet. You're all comfortable, I see. Dapper. <clears throat> it's about time we start dressing up. I thought it was best to uh you know, look the part if we're gonna be arriving in a ship. Like this? In. Yeah. <laughs> you with your cape. <laughs> <laughs> Blending in. Uh, uh, it's a... Uh, wield. <laughs> there's no doubt something in your size, Captain. And, uh... He probably has children sizes too. Well, when an Absalom. Yep. <laughs> Are we, uh, making dinner? Hmm. I, I don't really think of that. 
And have you seen the Queen? Uh, not, not long ago, actually. Just, I just thought the captain might want to speak to her. Oh, yeah. It was probably about yeah. 15 minutes ago you saw her, to be fair, <sighs> Colin. <laughs> I roll. Um, I suppose the subject of eating, that's probably a good idea. I think Laika would go and cook himself up something, at the very least. Don't know if he's going to bother doing anything for anyone else, but... <laughs> Root. Very selfish. Root. Hey, they, do we... they, they, they seem typically care to themselves, don't we? I was going to say, do we normally do... We had a lot I feel like we'd usually just do our own thing, except when we had the uh, the Castro Valley and thing. T Rex. Pseudo T Rex. Yeah. Do you think there's any Sorry, dinosaur on there? Mm -hmm. So we go raid the pantry. Yeah, and there is yeah. like there's an area designated for dining, or the big kind of fancy dining room area, and. I just off from that there is obviously like a an actual kitchen, if you will, for lack of a better way of describing it. Um mm -hmm. the kitchen itself is pretty much automated though. Like there's it can only be described as I guess uh a robot octopus in there. A Mr. Handy. Pretty much, yeah. A Mr. Handy, but <laughs> for a uh, cooking primarily. I love it. Hmm. Oh, fantastic. Do you know how to have a handle one of these, Lyco? You know, I don't usually, I don't usually use anything uh, too automated. Um, oh, so, what, yeah, is, are, are there like? Yeah. Are there like you know basic utensils and, and pans etc. Or is it just like oh, fuck, Mister Handy? <laughs> it's pretty much as I described a robot octopus that you're looking just at. Just that, like literally, you have to use this thing. Yeah, like you walk into the kitchen, there is like there is probably a sink realistically, um, but I mean, if there are cupboards, you can't see them. Yeah, it's not a very large uh, area given the ship. Because remember, this only caters to like maybe ten people. This entire vessel, like the vessel, could probably, as I said, hold about a hundred. But if it had been fitted to properly hold a hundred, it would, like a normal ship this size. But this has obviously been catered to be like an elite few, and also from the cockpit is designed, or the bridge, I should say, has really been designed to run on itself. Well, because if you pay staff, you have to pay staff quiet. Yeah. You know? So yeah, the, uh, I think maybe with that then, maybe we could just leave you alone in the room with this thing. Um, <laughs> if he wants to. He finds a new nutrient bar in his pocket. <laughs> I'll... Uh, I suppose, do I roll to see how the fucking thing works? <laughs> Is this what I'm doing? Engineering? I mean, do you have you ever experienced automated cooking bot before? I don't think he would have. I don't think the the stewards would bother with that. Probably like, I imagine no, there's in, their, in their headquarters there's probably like a kitchen. Yeah, but like a mess hall, right? Other than that, they probably just feed themselves. Yeah. Like Here's a, a question. <laughs> I've seen some Ponzi shit as this being an ambassador. <laughs> Uh, no, because you'd have been served meals by staff oh, at any functionaries, um, and you would have been expected to supply your own staff for like your your own housing within. Because obviously they don't want you wouldn't go and be fed by Absalom yeah. because then you'd be poisoned, right? <laughs> yeah. So you'd be expected to have had like a Vesk staff. Probably have some Vesk guy or something. Yeah, okay. and then obviously when you retired. You probably like all the them were probably recalled to the the Viscarium, and they were all mm -hmm. probably just SAS soldiers. Let's face it, they weren't. They probably weren't cooks. Yeah, they weren't staff. They were soldiers. <laughs> already, 
they call the fucking <laughs> embassy. <FDP. Yeah. laughs> Let me go find out the local menu cuisines and susceptible to any diseases and exits and weapon racks and yeah. <laughs> so no, I don't think I don't think any of you are familiar with um you know the meal octopus. Um I I just a pork it. Um yeah, um when you touch the kind of like white plastic of it you touch that and it's almost like a kind of little blue light around where you touch and the whole thing kind of like okay. ripples on the surface of the I guess the, the chef to pot and uh, the thing like moves all of its arms like ripples all of its arms turns around and like the kind of sphere kind of head spins around to reveal what looks like the Pringles man okay <laughs> and it says that is, uh, that is yeah. not and it says um how may I prepare your meal? Uh, there are like whisks and stuff well, on the ends of its arms possible. and shit like that. Very good. What? And what am I preparing? What is the... He's distinctly more French in my head, by the way. I'm just not going to do that accent. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what's, the, uh, what's the menu? What is the menu? The menu he asks for, and it it's like it looks and turns to like the whisk in one of its arms, and turns back to you, and it says, "You ask for what you want me to make. I make you what you want." And it gestures to its name tag. Uh, okay. I. Uh, yeah. It's called Cecil, if you must know. Se okay. Ah. Uh, 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 <laughs> what, I'm trying to think of what would be popular in, in Absalom. I love the idea you just ask it for like a hamburger. <laughs> no, but it wouldn't be a hamburger. Okay, a spamburger. It'd be like a fucking. I don't know. <laughs> and what, a soaky so dog. Know, so... Um. How. Hmm. Because what kind of delicacies are popular, like? So that's a question. Maybe that's just like those uh, issue though. Maybe you do get stuck at it. it doesn't mean so you need to solve the problem yourself. Yeah, uh, it's, it's you know. I, I, I'm also, Callum, that was all for you. <laughs> I'm fine. It's fantastic. That's just made me so happy. <laughs> uh, give me, give me oh. something. Uh, a good bit of protein and. Uh, Everything nice and fresh. Yeah. Like raises like a digit library up and just kind of stares at you. One moment. And then it makes like, you know, little hourglasses for its eyes. And then it says, everything we serve is fresh. I mean, it's been stored in a ship. I mean, it's... Uh, what's what's the most popular high protein item on your menu? I mean, it tuts at you, and it says, "If it is purely protein you're after, you can have a protein bar." Um. The voice is perfect. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Not... Shall I prepare <laughs> your protein bars? <sighs> Steak. Whatever you've got, company it with, uh, uh, I don't know. We've got some nice uh, those things and on, on Castro Vow. They're like uh, what, what are they called? Well, we named them many things. 
No, not those. Um, I, I don't know. He's actually talking about vegetables. He's trying to describe, like, garlic mm-hmm. and onions, which I'm imagining they have in Castroville, just because I imagine elves would have nice shit. <laughs> so, um, well, it's primarily Lushunta, right? So it's the Lushunta that lives there? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. But they're also, like, it's, mm-hmm. that's Lushunta probably have nice things, to be fair. I love the idea that it's, they like, you right. and a snooty, like, waiter, essentially. Um... Having this conversation, because the Cassatins are the weird thing, so I don't. Yeah, think it's exactly culinary. They wouldn't like. You probably need to be Cassatin to get. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine I probably the, I imagine the best chef that, in the galaxy is probably a Cassatin, right? Let's face yeah. it, it's probably called Elzar. <laughs> I'm imagining like Soki are probably very into food, but not super fussy about it. Um, yep. And humans are just humans. Um, yeah, so he, he describes like whatever bizarre subspecies of onion he's seen in <laughs> in Castroval, maybe. Uh, Why don't you roll and we'll see what you can come up with, right? Why don't we just roll and we'll okay. see what exotic thing you can come up with that Culture? seems. Yeah, and we'll see how you how you do. Thirty-two. Yeah, I think you can reasonably describe like dishes that you've came across. Yeah, maybe right? something I've been served uh, while working a job. Maybe like a an officer decided, right, we're all going to my favorite bar this time, mm-hmm. <laughs> or something, or uh, you know, or a work night out or some shit their, like that. Yeah, to their favorite dwarven delicacy. Just mm-hmm. like an entire ram <laughs> covered in oil. Yeah. Like uh, Still on yeah, fire. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it would be some, something slightly uh, flash. Something some, something somewhat impressive, but not not super high end. Not anything that the Queen would, would order. Oh, uh, having said that, to be fair, she's obviously quite capable of making the. But, you know. I mean, she really liked the finger food from the Rose Garden, and she really... Yeah, but that's because she's, like, out of her time. Mm -hmm. If she were raised in the here and now, she would hate... Yeah, you're 100% right. She'd hate an insult to her, like, royalty. Coming from distant past, and this idea of being able to have, like, a million calories (laughs) for, like, two dollars. Holy fuck, the future's amazing, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Give her chicken nuggets. Yeah, like this. I, I just have this image of her like going out with a big smile on her face with that like you know hundred bucket, you know hundred nugget bucket or something like that. <laughs> Thousand <laughs> nugget bucket. L- listen, McDonald's have made it more affordable to get like. Hey, 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 hey. let's let's not go on the old corporate sponsors here. Um, McDonald's, if you want to send me any nuggets, open your doors and I will. Mm-hmm. Oh, McDonald's. <laughs> They shot your scum. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on Alex's side. <laughs> COVID-19, take it seriously, but back to our game. <laughs> so yeah, you order essentially, I guess, some kind of like fancy steak meal like, prepared with some weird Castrovalian seasoning. Is that what you're going for? Yeah, that sort of thing. That sounds for you much or for the crew? Oh, for me. <laughs> I'm not making this shit anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's not lazy if I wasn't going to be doing it either way. Will you be dining at the table? Yeah, I think we will be. He rolls his eyes digitally. <laughs> Please take your seat. Oh, they scream. <laughs> I, uh, I will do just that then. Yeah. And then all the octopus arms all start like moving. His face was probably still staring at you while you were suggesting things as he was preparing all of the mm. the random stuff from cupboards you didn't know were there. Um, and the octopus has gone crazy in the kitchen, so yeah. I guess you just sit at the table. Yeah. It probably comes up on the table, um a little kind of icon of like his face, just as like emoji style face, saying do you care for a drink while you wait? His French is really travelling through Eastern Europe at the moment. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> um, that's a good question, actually. Does Michael want a drink? Hey, you know what? He's all dressed up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I 
want to say the house wine, but it's not a bar or or, or, <laughs> or anything like that. So, uh, can, can I think of, um, uh, you know what, I want to roll culture. You've done a culture roll, you've done, pr- like, you, you can pick an obscure wine, yeah. I think I yeah, so I named just a, a, a needlessly obscure wine. Probably probably from a culture not known for its wine as well. Probably it's like an pr- Orkish I, wine. I was going to say, it's it's more than that. It's actually a draconian wine you get. Um, oh, well. Yeah, there was probably one bottle in Absalom. I, and it was, I don't Astrovel know. Astravel del Triago. So it was a, it's from Triaxis and a... It is probably like a, a draconic vineyard. Um, Reaction Drago. <laughs> and it's probably called something like... Uh, what would it be called? Something with the word burnt in it, probably. Let's face it. Um, I don't know. Well, you can come up with a name if you wish for what this abstract wine is called. I don't know. I think it would but, be yeah. but yeah, it's some... Ridiculously expensive draconic wine. The dragons don't even drink, but it's obviously there because people like to buy expensive shit. Yeah, it probably makes probably it's magic with a triaxis. I mean, yeah, it's it, what you know is it's a triaxian expensive dragon wine, essentially. Maybe the burnt fang mm. vintage or some shit like that. Do you know what I mean? That's probably what it's called, the burnt fang. And he, he'll sort of uh, step at it, save, making a bit of a show of it, just because the robots annoy them. Yeah, that's probably like something like a hundred or two hundred credits a, a glass. Never mind the bottle, right? Um, so it's not anywhere near as expensive as um, spin, but it's rare in the sense that yeah, yeah, it's clear like a. No, like when people buy. In fact, am I even going to say that on recording? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go full sacrilege here. No, when people buy those tourist bottles of holy water, it's like not yeah, yeah. really, but it's like I that. guess some people do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a bit like that idea, you know. Go see a dragon, buy some dragon wine, you know. Touristy things, but yeah. So you have that. I am. Um, what is everybody else up to? Like, where is everybody else in in the ship? Because he's. Like, where did Weird go after he left Lyco with the chef to push? Um, he went off to the storage hold again. Have a stop popping boxes open, see what's in there. Yeah, like all the crates are like labeled with what they are. Like you can touch the crates and like panels appear mm. on them, and it gives you the inventory lists on them. So you don't even need to open them if you don't want to. You can still, but you don't need to. I'm gonna pop some of them because I don't believe this guy. Yeah. He's in some um, stuff. He's in some dodgy stuff. Hey, everything seems to be what you like when you open through crates and whatnot. It's yeah. like literally just loads of storage. A lot of these things are sat in for the automated arms that lead up to them, like the kitchen. Um, mm-hmm. um, a lot of those boxes are, are f- like filtered for that. Like a lot of the kind of the wine bottles and various things like that, and food storage and refrigeration units and shit. So um, okay. beyond that, there's very little stored on the ship beyond like. If somebody had... This is like a panic ship, right? Like, if somebody had to, they Mm -hmm. could live here for, like, a couple of months if they had to. Um, Just on the off chance that they ever might need to. How much toilet paper is there? Uh, None, because in the space (laughs) feature, we moved past that because of the old crisis of 2020. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. It's now B-Day Central in here. It's three seashells. Um, Three seashells, yep. They all vibrate at different frequencies, creating a nice resonance that breaks free any waste that is unwanted. That is a genius concept. I will take it to the government immediately. Excellent. I hope I'm credited fully for the idea I stole from him. <laughs> In part, <laughs> stole, at least. <laughs> um, but but yeah. yes, yeah. Um. <laughs> um. I know, can't necessarily do a French accent, but I can give you a reason why we got rid of toilet paper. <laughs> And <laughs> what we replaced it with. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It was as a June 18th, 2020, that we decided to go away for toilet paper. That's what I said. I, I literally said all of that is during the great well, toilet paper shortage of 2020. Yep. Um, there's actually, there is no such thing as toilet paper. 
um, the man and the reptilians would like you, I believe, in toilet paper. There's only ever been empty shelves. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mute every day. I'm just, I'll just be everybody else for a bit. <laughs> and then Lyco said this. Fucking conspiracy. Well, Great. I'm Lyco, y'all. And I've got me Whoa. some tinfoil. <laughs> Shut up, Michael. Never, I'm the captain. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sat me. <laughs> it was. Wow. Uh, right, no, this is when we mute the GM. It was an acceptable GM. level <laughs> of response given in these dark days. That's a. That's Alex. And then. A, Thank you. <laughs> and this is my Calvin impression. <laughs> I'm taking good your NPCs. Oof. Yes. Oh, sorry, that was where the week's Callum couldn't make it. Eh, Callum! Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> I know. Sting. To be fair, I just hey, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't have the range to do you. That's the only thing. <laughs> <coughs> yes, he's quite far away. Yes, very far away. And also small. <laughs> Even though you're not, because you're actually quite tall. But anyway. Yes. A reasonably sized boy. <laughs> wow. I have no knowledge Ooh. of this. Just <laughs> in the open. Oh dear. Oh well boy. Then. Oh geez. Anyway. So, anyone that's listened so far, like. Well done. Like, Cal is too nice for me. <laughs> There'll be a check in the post for you. Oh dear. Anyway, so, what is everyone yes. else doing, right? Weird, you're obviously looking through supplies. Are you looking for anything specific? Because maybe I can answer that question. He's looking for supplies to save me. <laughs> arms, equipment. Not literal arms, I've got enough arms. Mm-hmm. Uh, weaponry. Um, uh, roll a D100. Oh, no. I, I, I want to oh. see if there's a something worthwhile in here. Diamonds, drugs. Drug diamonds. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, that was diamond. 27. So, let's see. Give me a second to have a wee nosy at this. Uh... No, you look through what you might... Like, there's a... It looks like a handgun case, right? Mm-hmm. Something that you would like have. Maybe even at first glance, it looks like there's a gun inside it. You open it up, and it's like a carved ivory drinking horn. Okay. You find that. Um, it's probably cool. as close to like a weapon that's actually here that isn't one of the projections. Yep. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, it looks like it was essentially like a proper like regal looking gift that you would have gave to somebody. Um, yep. But obviously the concept of drinking out of a horn is a bit odd. Maybe too, too weird. Yes, but I know who will appreciate it. Mm-hmm. I'll go and give it to the captain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but of course, the captain isn't Norse. No, yeah. He's close enough. <laughs> but there's well, time. When the Viscarium take over the Norse planet. <laughs> Famously, Vikings were lizards. Ah mm. uh, yeah. Well, of course. Mm. Only the the leader class were listening. Yes, that's why they had the real toilet paper. Yeah. Oh my god. So. <laughs> Do you know what the pyramids are used to store? <laughs> and sanitizer. Yeah. Oh dear. You just have to push the top brick down, and it squirts out. Oh dear. Uh, I've heard that before. Oh my. <laughs> All I'm saying is, how can? Hundreds of thousands of people move some large rocks using technology perfectly adequate to the task. That's all right. I'm saying. Imagine building them wider at the bottom to make it easier as you got thinner towards the top. No Imagine! Without, oh no! Without the it's incredible what you can do with thousands of people in slave labour. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's all I'm saying. Even, you know, even the Greys they didn't way. figure that out. The so, been their toilet, their, their, their toilet paper. They've been building their toilet paper. That's why the reptilians got a head start on them. Hey guys, I'm just going to This has been the Conspiracy Craig Corner. Yeah, I was going to say... I'm Thank you for say, joining us. This the is, uh, are actually in this Yes, they are. 
Yes, I'm <laughs> tempted to have them just invade the ship right now and wipe your memories of this. Oh. Fucking hell. <sighs> so. I wish I was singing here. How about you? Um, I'm here, uh. I think. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you seem to be back. I didn't hear you for a moment. I don't know if you were <laughs> doing words. Dun, 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 dun. Session so, 46, the, the, the session that never got broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> they really just the round of in Egypt. <laughs> I like that the zoom is smaller than the actual icon. That's really helpful. Yeah. It's probably because the icons are never meant to be like solar system sized. No, they're probably not. <laughs> That's actually bigger than the sun. <laughs> That's uh, why you never see the greys come. Nope, because they are in fact... The they dark are the sky. side of the sun? No, let's move they on. Will bloss out the sun. So, anyway, weird. You find this drinking horn, this ornate drinking yep. horn. And, and I'll go and give it to the captain. Zora, where is Zora? Zora is probably not long after like, go figure out how to make the Octo Chef work. Mm -hmm. He probably then gets the Octo Chef to make him some feed as well. So yeah, maybe you walk into the, the dining hall then, and you just see Lyco sat there staring at a drinks menu, and uh, then picking, obviously, a burnt fang. Burnt fang. Yeah. It obviously comes out of the table, because fuck leaving the table for that. I mean, yeah, why Why would you, why yeah, would you I mean, ever want to leave the table? Mm -hmm. Why would your ponzi arse ever leave the table on this ship? Like, literally everything in this ship is designed to give the impression that you are important, right? That's the point of it. Everything about it is to gear you towards, look how well I have it, and you could have it well too if you work with me. <laughs> you could have it all. So My empire of dirt. <laughs> Moving on from all the legal suits. Um, but yes, I would probably sit there. Michael, it's up to you now if you break the silence with informing the captain how dinner works. No, no, I, I'm not going to patronise the captain. He's eating meals. <laughs> I uh, raise my glass to the mm -hmm. captain. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a quite a selection they have here, Cap. Um, I would look at it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and like, obviously a glass of water appears on the table. But is, it, is it nicely iced and stuff? Though? I mean, like... No, because you never asked for ice water. Bitch. Iced? Wow. <laughs> yeah, you get like a second glass comes out with ice in it. That's good. good. How are they coming out of the table exactly anyway? Like from a, <laughs> like from a compartment in the middle and then they slide okay. towards you. I was imagining them always being like. That it's not. I was gonna say it's not oh, quite. Have that tech. Yeah. Some people do. It's Ooh. just that would be like top end. I, the thing is though, people have magic in this world, so that type of stuff isn't yeah. as needed. Yeah, that's kind of a cheat. Yeah. Um, God, magic. I know, right? I mean, you use that a couple of times, so. But no, this place isn't quite fancy enough to have replicator tech. Some of this stuff does cheat though. Um, in the sense of, like, if you explored long enough, you could probably realise this thing could probably be programmed to make outfits. You know, it's probably got, like, loom fucking tech built into it somewhere. Um, okay. But it's not quite replicator tech. Like, you would need to have a specific reason to have had that function. You couldn't just go to a wall and say, give me a bathtub and then a shovel. Right. <laughs> I mean, like, haven't we all? Yeah. <laughs> it was very murdery, that scene. Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> or a boat. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, because yeah. of the implication. Because of the implication. And uh, yeah, so you get your your second glass out. And you're just sat at the table. Sat at the table. And um biggest steak you've got. Are you sat to like them? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, <laughs> How does this work? 
I'll point it because there's a face on his table placing him. I'm assuming as well. Uh, yeah, because he's ordered drinks. Yeah, yeah. I'll put, I'll point him down to you. Uh, you address the chef. The chef. chef with heavy irony. Like because down. the chef is a machine and therefore probably quite heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Ah, I get what you. Probably not a lot of iron. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so you, you look at the table and there's like a blinking emoticon of a little Pringles tube face man. But for legal reasons, vastly different. Um, and when you touch it, it, it looks poked and then scrunches up its face and goes, Who are you dodging? Do you require anything? <laughs> I was getting startled. The <laughs> 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 uh, uh, biggest stick. Give me some of those. Uh, uh, what are those all uh, squiggly meat things called? Uh, squiggly meat. Yeah, Squigs? dried meat. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some of those as well. The thing just blinks. <laughs> uh, blink back. You want to say squiggly meat things. <laughs> Squigs. Chef, you? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm glad we got things back on the bow. Do that little emoticon like adjust its little bow tie. <laughs> if you would like to order something available on the menu, I shall prepare it right away. Well, that's the menu. And then obviously like hollow menu appears. Uh, okay, so... It has, made it, it has made it the most simplest possible. Like everything is colour coded, <laughs> everything's very bright bold lettering. Side, meaty side dishes. <laughs> yep, and like it's like literally like... Plip, plop, plip, like ordering something from one of those touch screens in a fast food chain if you will. And uh, yeah. Slow food chains are available. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what uh, happens? What's the? Yeah, yeah, I will choose like all of the meat sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the biggest steak I can find. And I think uh, once you're done ordering this like mountain of meat. Uh... <laughs> What can I the little hollow face appears again and goes, Would you like me just to, to kill the bull and slap it on the face and then on the table? Um, slightly, slightly um, cooked. As you wish. And then it blinks away. <laughs> I'll sit back. Two hands clasped. Smiling. The thought of good food come away. <laughs> Warm meat, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, where do we find Zig at this point? I think once once everyone sort of kind of goes their own ways, um, you can go your own way. Your own way. Um, he. I think he would just head the same direction as the captain, to be honest. Yeah. Um, kind of force himself out of the, the stool and just amble on towards... Yeah, and I think as you're about to head happened. towards the kind of dining room area, um, just kind of closer to the middle of the ship, you maybe get sight of Weird, who's on his way. Same direction, I guess. Mm. I don't know if Weird decides to get your attention in any way or not, but... Alex, you're muted. 
Filthy lies. <laughs> I was no such thing. But yeah, so like you uh, head into the room, you're kind of crossing the jazz bar lounge, and then you see Zig just at the far side about to head off towards the dining area. So if he's wanted to have a secluded chat, he's kind of, if not, he's can carry on to the dining area. Has Zig noticed me? Probably not. Then I will just walk silently behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Creep on. Cool. Yeah. Not with, it's one of those, not realising I'm sneaking up on him. But because I'm a creep, <laughs> I am weird. <laughs> um, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, so then you all head off towards the dining room, I guess. So Zig heads in, followed by Weird. Hello, crew. Zig jumps. <laughs> <laughs> weird. It's like, what? Uh, Are you okay, Zig? Yeah, yes. Yeah, fine. Totally fine. I'm um, sorry. I fear I'm quieter out of the armor. Substantially so. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and then uh, Zig well. would walk towards the, the, the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The seat probably adjusts as soon as you sit on it. I walk across and sit next to him. It probably adjusts the other way. <laughs> like they, they yeah, account, that's the face. They account for like your, uh, like your dimensions, as it were. Captain, I found something for you. Oh. Leave this. A gift for the diplomat. And we pass it across the horn across to him. In the box, or did you take it out of the box? Oh, out of the box. Oh, this is this is quite like basically what Vesk used to drink anyway. Yeah. This is fantastic. How did you know? You're a spy. No, it's. Uh... <laughs> so I've only worked for you for how many years? <laughs> <laughs> I would I would chuckle at the you spy. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it would be in keeping with your traditions. I don't think any of the rest of the crew particularly suits it. No offence. None taken? <laughs> like, I cut my glass on that and water and pour it in. Just... Fantastic. Makes the water taste... Barwe. Hmm, <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a lizard, what can I say, man? Have we figured out the menu? Yeah, it's the face on the table. The face on the table has a name. And then it brings up the menu. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Apparently it's a name. What's your name? When you say the name. I was going to say that it literally pointed at its name when you were in the room with it. Like, uh, uh, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I know you probably weren't. Um, but yes, it pops up the menu. Like a machine. <laughs> wow. Hi, <laughs> Cove. That was out of character. I don't, okay. I don't think you said <laughs> I'm out of character. I don't. <laughs> I always do accent. This is, there's... Oh, so did I accent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it did sound accent. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yep. <laughs> You're becoming uh, lost in Lyco. <laughs> Where does Colin <laughs> end and Lyco begin? What, were you going to say slug <laughs> there? Like, when does slug end? <laughs> Where does <the> slug end? When <laughs> the shell begin? But yeah, so the menu pops up. Lyco is racist to machines, and uh, yeah. So, Brian, show me what's on the menu. The entire uh, yeah. menu. The entire menu <laughs> is... Please. For my immersion. Alright, so it's displayed in uh, Ancient Draconian, which you don't have, sadly. So, okay. you need to ask Being like a for Comic things. Sans font. Yeah, a horrible, horrible okay. Comic Sans. <laughs> <laughs> comic Sans Draconian. <laughs> Uh... That sounds horrible. <laughs> Dragons with crayons. It's also blue in a blue background. 
<laughs> yeah, sky blue on a cyan background, yeah. It's the worst thing. <laughs> um, or it's like Alex's old goal sheet. <laughs> that was a beauty. Warped. I've, I've never been able to mess up a spreadsheet quite that much. That spectacular is why I kept that page. Oh, oh yeah, that is a piece of art. Mm-hmm. I want to print so, that and frame it in my new flat. So it's own <laughs> Patreon level. Um, <laughs> If you want yes. access to that code. But anyway, yes. The so Alex's code. graphical design company. I will do all your business <laughs> signs for you. I heard Alex. Uh, sorry, Alice there instead of Alex. But yeah, valid I mean, yes, either way. The same level of customer service, I'll admit. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, from the menu, mm-hmm. I will ask for something less meaty than the others. Perhaps a salad would be more to your liking. But more substantial than a salad. Two salads? Caesar. A risotto? Coming right up. And then your menu, and a blinks, drink? Your menu blinks away already. Uh, um, uh. And the little icon on your table, like the one that's flat on the table, says. It kind of like lights up when you say drink. Drink. It twitches its moustache. Can I have a drink, please? What am I serving you? A drink. You have to be more specific. It's size. Uh. <laughs> uh coffee. And it lists various types of coffee. Yes. Yes. <laughs> As you wish. And then, like, I don't know, 40 cups appear on the table. <laughs> and your waters as well, please. <laughs> One cup please. comes out after that. <laughs> what about the wines? And then it brings up the list of wines. Yes. Yep. So a glass of all the wines come out. <laughs> Table's getting pretty full. I I feel like there's a flaw with their system, Captain. <laughs> um, I think I'm just laughing, to be honest, because I can't respond to that. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> so there's a 11 wines. There is 67 types of coffee. <laughs> and then, I don't know, 81 types of water. <laughs> yep. I love that there's eleven <laughs> wines and only eighty one. <laughs> I, I hope it just let you go drink all that water. Eventually. <laughs> Cecil, does this thing go in reverse? We do not recycle. That would that be That seems wasteful. It kinda like twitches one eye and then <clears throat> He says, I was not programmed for efficiency. I was programmed for decadence. Clearly. What about machine oil? Like, what do I look like? An engine bot? I was just testing. It blinks. I slowly start putting cups on the floor next to me so that I've got a space for my foot. <laughs> All that time, though. Just if, handy. And then, like, Cecil, like, sighs very loudly or like icon next to you and he goes, if you are finished with your drinks, you may dispose of them in the ring. And obviously a part of your table glows blue and like a, a ring. And where does that go? Off the table. To storage. Would you like to sit on the ring and find out? I'd rather not. Can I just blinks and nods at the same time? <laughs> you weren't programmed for customer service either, were you? <sighs> it does. <laughs> so it sighs <laughs> loudly and it says. My specific model 
is to replicate the experience of any high quality chef including the attitude they adopt that, that seems like a flawed concept simply put and it just interrupts you because it's definitely waited to <laughs> interrupt you the ruder we are the better the food will taste i don't think that's accurate i don't think that's how there's no causation there it seems luckily your thoughts are not required or anyone's it seems your coffee is getting cold I, as they're having this conversation <laughs> i've like surreptitiously taken three coffees and a couple of waters yeah yep. <laughs> I, I slowly start drinking them 81 types of water fucking hell yep. <laughs> <laughs> but then think about how many dignitaries will probably ask for water right so it's obviously like water from the fucking springs near their hometown or some shit so yeah the finest in triaxian glacier water yeah and it's probably like one bottle's worth they had of each so you've probably like you know tanked most of the supplies of the ship already excellent <laughs> They wanted decadence. I'll show them decadence. <laughs> yeah, very short-lived decadence. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then a uh, like in the middle of the the table, uh, a Cecil appears and says, "Are you dining together, or do you wish to be served individually?" We appear to be together. It just raises an eyebrow at you. <laughs> yeah. And then it, yeah. it kind of nods, and then it says, "And for the little one, I'm, his name I'm, is Zig. Don't I'm call him that, Cecil. It doesn't like it. It just blinks off. <laughs> You're, uh, you really, back, so. you really don't need anything. No, I'm, 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 I'm good. Can I have your coffee?" <laughs> Four six. Zig looks at the, the the plethora of coffees and just silently. And they're all in different types of cups, yeah. Because like, um, do you want to roll a d sixty seven for me? I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's not sixty seven. That's sixty eight. Sixty seven. Okay. Uh, let me roll a. Let's see. Oh, there's an advantage shoulder button. Interesting. Cancel that. Right, so four slash R space one D forty five. Bam. Cool. Yeah, it's an espresso you get definitely. Sweet. Yep. So it's probably the smallest cup. <laughs> probably yeah. to don't know if I this haven't... is just passive aggressive zig after the shot glass you were given earlier, but <laughs> Yeah, no, I think I think I think Zig actually actively kind of sips it or mm -hmm. does it in like two halves. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. So after your sluggishness from the drink, this is probably just hyping you up, let's face it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're starting to see um, the deeper colours of the LED lighting. Everything's sort of like warming up and the, the light's expanding. You can probably feel your heartbeat more. Yeah. Um, I think Zig would look, look at the crew and just say, Guys, I want to apologize and then he starts looking around the room for being weird fairly rapid <laughs> yeah twitching. i don't think we need to apologize for that it's like and then his, his like you know he, he starts twitching a little bit you know his whiskers going also alex um, that was noted don't you worry <laughs> <laughs> um i've not been the most present and I should be doing more and helping the crew more. Yes. Oh my goodness. Huh. Um, <laughs> whew. And then he looks around and he's looking for another coffee. Yeah, I was going to say, because you've definitely downed that coffee. Like, or at least when you go to take another sip, it's empty. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, um and then he just like reaches for the nearest one not mm -hmm. even yeah looking for anything in particular you really uh you really things weigh on you 
County. Yeah, I should apologise as well. Sometimes I forget you've not. Yeah. Yeah, you've not been trained, trained like I have, and brought up the way I have. It's kind of hard to remember that at times. Uh, and then I think that Zig's head would dart between Michael and the captain as they spoke, and he'd be like, "No, but it's it's okay because I've had lots of time to think about it, and I'm going to just you know I'm going to try my best. I'm going to do better for everyone. I'm going to be more present part of the crew, and it's going to be you know we're going to oh man, Oof. Um, coffee's empty." He's gonna grab another coffee. It's uh, it's okay. Perhaps, perhaps you should look after yourself too. You can't uh, pour from an empty cup. They say. <laughs> Stares at all the cups. <laughs> Pushing another coffee towards him. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that you're maybe holding a couple in your different arms, though, as well. Yeah. <laughs> like saucer in one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. And he, t- he takes yeah he takes the coffee. Um, he sips it and goes, "Ah, oh, yeah, that's a really good point. Actually, I should probably think about doing stuff like that. But then I need to, you know, I need to look after the crew. I mean, I've got all these, I've got these abilities, and I don't use them yeah. to the full advantage that I do. And you know, it's just really, really difficult to kind of place myself within this sort of dynamic. But I need to kind of focus yeah. on both working on myself, but then maybe helping you like more because you know, I, I can, I can do stuff. You know." And then he to myself. Sorry. Um, how about this, right? How about we doodle it, right? Because let's say. Oh, it's been a long time since we've had a doodle. All right, so let me just freehand this, right? Let's go for pink, and then we'll go. Right, so here can be the table, right? And then I don't know why, but I just imagine for some reason Lyco and Zora. Went to opposite sides. Sure. Don't ask me why that is, but I just feel like I had a lot of room for my food. I mean, and then the kitchen can be that way, and then the way into this place can be like here. So this is the jazz bar. Jazz bar. Jazz. I always wanted you to go to jazz bar. (laughs) No. Um. So yeah, it's going to be wherever you want. Just place yourselves around the table. I suppose I'd probably be that end. So I wouldn't have to reach too far to take things from the... <laughs> take things from from, uh, from weird... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I I would um sort of lean forward a bit towards Zig, and I'd you know, be like, you 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 do plenty. You 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 don't you know you're you're not some slacker. You've you've done a lot for for the 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 crew. You know you you've you've more than earned your share. I think Zig's eyes are darting about the place right now. You don't need to do everything. Take a minute to enjoy the the perks of this lifestyle. I mean, look at look at all of this. This is not everyone gets to do this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, and you're a luxury fucking yacht. Really <laughs> for a few days anyway. It's the hang around with uh, with ancient royalty, you know. Not everyone gets to enjoy these kind of meals. It's. I remember when I used to work for the stewards. That, you know, we'd we'd have some pretty nice perks every now and then. But you know, if someone bought you a, a, a drink and a, you know, unless you were undercover or something, you you had to write up a form. It, it was a whole thing. It, you know, oh, and. Believe me, you shot someone a job where you weren't specifically sent there to shoot someone. Whew. But uh, now, where is the queen? That's a good question. Zig stands up on his stool and kind of just looks about to see if he would <laughs> turn to that. So you know, I really do like not having to worry too much 
about, you know, he, 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 he does a hand gun gesture. It's, uh, it's liberating. I could have imagined so. Mm. Brian, can I access the ship wide comms to Queen? Like the Tannoy, the PA, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And just put a call out. Yeah, what'd you we say? Don't know, we don't know her name yet, do we? <laughs> no. Your Highness, we are in the dining room if you would like to attend dinner. We will have a drink waiting for you. <laughs> you can bet that. Yeah, there's there there there's like obviously there's no reply, but yeah. Yeah. Well, well we now we've invited her. Sig's gonna ball tight and look for the queen, <laughs> and then he's gonna run back, grab a coffee, and then run back out. <laughs> yep. I think. I think that was a. Uh... A mistake. What? It was important for him to open up to us. I just mean the caffeine. Oh, uh... <laughs> He's high well, as strong as is. <laughs> he's old enough to make his own mistakes. I would nod. Yeah. Totally. That totally solidified my, my choice again. It says it weird who is like 24 hours old. Yeah. <laughs> Surrounded by coffee. <laughs> Height of right. responsibility. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of telling him not to. I just, you know, I think uh, the kid, uh, kid stresses out. Amped up on we space saw caffeine. Him... We saw him irradiate a bunch of bandits, so I don't think caffeine is what we're concerned about. I, look, I I completely support his decision to irradiate the bandits, but you know, yeah, someone so who here's can a, irradiate people. Right, so guys, just to jump in here, right, here's a thing that might come across everybody's minds at this point now that has been brought up at the table between the three of you. Mm -hmm. How much do you think Zig is in control of his powers? Shall we say, as a group, not as players, obviously, as the characters, mm. um, more so oh. than. Just given things like Alice, for example, you know. It's not like though. It's not born up a, a, a Dino. Yeah, on the scale uh, of uncontrollable things, mm, weird probably yeah. isn't going to criticise him. And control of his powers, yeah. Motions, maybe not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have, I have a degree of like... concern. <laughs> I definitely think like, like or obviously not I. I definitely sort of think so. that's partly why he's sort of saying this is partly because he is, he, he is in control to a degree you know obviously he, he, he doesn't always fully quite understand but there's definitely the, the emotional aspect of he is very very emotive mm -hmm. um, and it's not you know whether or not that necessarily means he's experiencing emotions stronger or more often than others or you know more vividly or what have you but he certainly shows it like really shows it all the fucking time um so i i, I think like that's more of his concern is that he'll make a decision rashly that will get him in trouble rather than that he won't be able to control it so much as he will be in an emotionally compromised state and make a poor choice Mm -hmm. It's not that he doesn't trust him. It's just that he thinks, you know, he's he's young. He's not as experienced as some, and he is prone to, yeah, he he gets very strong emotional responses to a lot of things. Fundamentally, as well, from everybody's knowledge, it's reasonable to assume most of you believe he's probably the most powerful in the entire like like raw power mm -hmm. because yeah, he certainly seems to be mind... fucking nuke people. Like yeah, he's a radiated people. Like keep in mind that probably have looked horrible. And then there was the fact that he kicked the crap out of um, what's her face? S. Kate Isabel? Yeah. Mentally, remember? Like she tried, she tried to knock her out of her yeah. brain, didn't he? Yeah, like he literally slammed the door in her face mentally and kicked her out, despite the fact that she was able to kick you guys about the ship. So, yeah. 
Like the only other person that actually was able to match her really was literally physically was Zora. Um, at that point, with a beast of a roll, when you just booted each other. So, aye, it's like Zig is not, not necessarily a right offable, I guess, or ignorable that way in terms of. I think I've said before, Lyco <laughs> is very much aware he's probably the least powerful member of the crew, but that doesn't bother him, he, partly because he's not really ever been insecure about that sort of thing, but also just because he, he sort of subconsciously, or perhaps even somewhat consciously thinks, you know, if it came down to it, you know, it doesn't matter how powerful they are from, you know, yeah. 2,000 metres away or what have you. He's a exactly. smart lad, he knows everybody has. I was going to say, yeah, Lyco's <laughs> like, got a lot of, <laughs> Lyco's an info weaver, do you know what I mean? He's got connections as well. And there's, also... there's a little bit of the Batman there. I was gonna say he's the Batman of the of the. Oh, exactly. so he's the Batman villain. Like, yeah. Batman, Batman walking around with a fucking revolver. <laughs> Thomas instead Wayne, of helping the him. poor people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Although we wanted to do a couple of killings. Mm -hmm. I, I heard that, Alex. <laughs> as I said, it's the Thomas Wayne. As I said, the Thomas yeah, Wayne. The, the flashpoint, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whereas we've got obviously, you know, we've got our war hero. Slash, well, I guess Captain America is really a good analogy for Zora, right? Considering your special solar power is your shield, right? Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. Well, not anymore, actually, because I would actually be a thing these days. So, yeah, but no. Yeah, but no. Yeah, but no. Because you could actually have a shield now. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, your armor, right? Your defense? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for yeah. lack of a better term, it is a shield. Um, yeah. I mean, no, I'm not obviously not. That's obviously fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. It, especially yeah. with certain choices made, right? Without consulting the group. Yes. We, there are some choices that we made. It's the yes. Iron Man vision combo we've went for, really, yeah. quite frankly. Very much on the vision front. And then, oh, uh, right. and then you've got your, I guess, Scarlet Witch, maybe? Yep. In Zig. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's not bad. Not bad at well, all. If we're, if, we're, if, we're, if we're going Avengers, then... You're Black Widow. It could, Doctor, it could be like Doctor <laughs> Strange as well, but that's like 10, 20 years down the line, maybe, uh, when he's like really wise. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> you mean the Radiant Supreme instead of the Sorcerer Supreme? Yeah, yes! Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Stop, young stop. Doctor Strange. Nico, do you want to stop unpicking my wonderful sci-fi coating over all the Marvel story we're playing? <laughs> <laughs> stop it. <laughs> With my fragments of eternity. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Let's get the Chrono Stone. The fucking revealing me here. <laughs> God's sakes. Yeah. The time well, pebble. I just loved discovering the Mind Stone the other day in August. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So, in that regard then, right, so Zig runs off, you have that moment of actually discussing the how, how stable is Zig at the moment yeah. on most forms, and how does that conclude? What's everybody's thoughts based on, obviously, we've spoke about our character about your thoughts on Zig. How does it focus in? Lyco, you have blades coming out of your arms. I have extra arms. The only one here, I would say, who has any particular control, Captain, only because he can control gravity. Um, I mean, I, 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 I can produce these and sheath them at will. And when are you going to get more retractable blades or whatever that comes about from your biological changes? It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, unclear. So when it comes to control of ourselves, I don't think we should be overly harsh or sick. It's more just a matter of him getting used to his power I'd and recognising it for what it is. I wouldn't say I was being particularly harsh on I just, uh, he is very emotive. That's so, and, and and it's not to say that that's a bad thing. Uh, I think I think it's reflective of some of his more positive qualities. He's he's very caring. He's he's really quite a quite a sweet kid. But he is emotional, and that's again like not not a bad thing. Probably better that you have someone with his powers be a bit emotional rather than be too detached. Yeah. But again, we can all be emotional at times. 
That's sad with a flat uh, as taunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can all be emotional at times. <laughs> selling that as well as you you might, but uh No, you're you're of course correct. Anyway, well, I mean, well, I'm not in okay. I'm agreeing with everything said. <laughs> oh, excuse me, yawning again. <laughs> Apologies. Anyway, I've, oh, I've I much know. preferred this excitability to him being with John. That's fair. Yeah, and I think at that point Cecil appears and just says, Your meal is served and then from the middle of the table. Like a bunch of the cups are like pushed out of the way and then the actual, you know, parade of meat heads towards Zora. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the result and whatnot goes to <laughs> uh, weird. Sorry, and then uh, yeah. your original like nicely seasoned steak heads towards you, mm-hmm. and then Cecil's just there adjusting his bow tie in the middle of the table. Thank you, Cecil. You are most welcome. Bon appétit, and then vanishes. Enjoy, Captain. Go. I'm, I'm probably already eaten, but I'm not. Lifts drink, lifts drinking horn to acknowledge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm probably doing the same. Because oh. <laughs> I've already got knife and fork, one hand, a set of hands, a couple of <laughs> copies to lend the other. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. Yeah, so I think we fade from you guys tucking into your meal. And Mm -hmm. Zig, where did you go? Uh, He went looking for the queen, but he's done, obviously not knowing where the queen is, he's just kind of haphazardly darting from... Yeah, roll perception, we'll see how long it takes you. Um, Your perception. Yeah, so it maybe takes... A good while, but like you head down below the deck that you're on, and mm-hmm. this has got a sauna and the swimming pool. This deck, and you head it in like maybe through the kind of the steam room. It's probably quite nice because you're probably used to the, the the temperatures from the solar monastery, and then mm-hmm. you kind of like have that moment where you go. And tonight's Matthew. It's but it's Zig still, and you walk through, and. Uh, the sun that seals itself behind it, and you're in like a very large swimming pool room, and uh, the queen seems to be swimming. Ah, your highness. I mean, like she like stops and kind of looks out of the water, and her hairs are like pulled up, and she says, Zig twitches. "Young Zig, you should come in. The water is lovely." And look, you can see the stars. And she looks down, and obviously if you look through the water, you could see the fact that it's like a glass bottom to put bolt. Um, he kind of like looks in and then... Um, is it shallow or is it like deep? Uh, the part you're at is steps going into the water. I think he would like go down halfway down the steps, so he's like maybe waist deep. Mm-hmm. And then kind of sit down and just look look down at the stars. Yeah. And like she, she starts swimming towards you, uh, and then she starts like walking out of the water. She's completely naked, by the way, uh, and then she just sits down next to you and looks at the stars with you. Um, you know, I say that I say this loosely because, quite frankly, it's going to be the blue drift that you're looking at. But let's yeah. just say it stretches stars off in the distance or some shit to make it look super sci-fi. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because I'm pretty sure I have a thing. I do have a thing. Uh, whenever I can see stars, I can determine my precise location. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how that would work in the drift. Well, That'd I'd, be interesting. I'd, 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 I'm, I'm pretty sure that that wouldn't work in the drift. Or I would say, or if it did, Zig wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I think it's a bit different. But um, yeah, and she looks down and she um, says, maybe she'll comment on that as well. And she says, well, I'm assuming when once we're out of this current perhaps the stars will show themselves more clearly. Mm. And yeah, like, 
See the way you say that as well, that, hmm, I hope so. Like, is Zig still a bit distant, or, like, have you kind of came down from your coffee amp, or...? I think he's coming down. Yeah, and I think if you do sound slightly melancholy about that, she'll just splash your face with water. I think he's like, hey, come on, and then he would kind of laugh a little bit, uh, and then um, he would... <laughs> Can I... I don't kind of want to do it as an attack. That's not fair. Yeah, I was going to say because like telekinetic projectile some water. Yeah, you can just you can just splash water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like from from behind her, so that she can't see it. Yeah. So you kind of yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. um, cool. And then she gets splashed, and she goes, "Watch there," you know, as she uh, like kind of quickly ducks and gets her her hands up over her head. Yeah, I think I think Zig would kind of catch himself laughing and kind of be kind of caught off guard at the fact that he was kind of you're splashing a naked queen to the water, yeah. Yeah, and then you know, <laughs> laughing about it and you know just having having a laugh because I don't think he's had a laugh mm -hmm. um, with another person since pre um, <laughs> pre the pre game graduation day. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> pre episode zero. Mm -hmm. um, so he, he he kind of you know kind of retracts into himself slightly and um kind of thinks on that is not confused by it but you know it's kind of like remembering a distant memory or whatever you know oh yes this is what fun used to be oh yeah, are you thinking that or are um, you are you saying that sorry thinking it saying it uh, he's dead uh, thinking it but um, yeah yeah and i think um, as you're kind of like having those thoughts she just like puts her hand out and then like from magic, she like, like pulls together like what looks like an exotic flower, and then she says like lily for your thoughts. It's a good smile, and he would pick up the lily, and then it turns into like butterflies or some shit, and it'll just like glitter away. Um, Zig's so eyes sort of widen, and they sort of just as they kind of you know fly away and dissipate into the. Mm -hmm. It's all very Disney magic, yeah. Yeah, um, and um, he's just kind of totally, like, for the first time, he's just in the moment, um, just trying to experience everything mm -hmm. as it is now, as opposed to what's happened or what's going to happen or anything. He's just in a total kind of state of calm. And you look up at the Queen and you say, thank you. She just smiles. That's it, really. Take she off. just kind of like just and, just smiles. Yeah. And then he goes for a swim. Yeah. Do you swim in your robes? Well, I don't have my robes. I'm in my armor. Stuff. <laughs> your your silver reflective armor, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, like, do you? Um, I think I think he would take I think he would take it off and. Proper swim. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think as you do, she'll obviously jump back in and start swimming around herself as well. Yeah, I guess. I mean, no, I, lost, I, I lost the end of that. I said she just probably starts swimming around herself as well, yeah. All oh, right, okay, yeah. Yeah, just kind of enjoying the fact that she clearly likes water, so. Mm -hmm. And probably the novelty of the nice blue colours coming in from the bottom probably has that really nice effect of light through water. You know, We're, yeah, it's probably got that really romantic Disney Grove effect or grotto effect. Maybe is a better word. Mm -hmm. um, of all the lighting I from think, under the water, yeah. so it could definitely sort of periodically just kind of, um, like in between like swimming strokes, kind of just lie face in the water, staring down into the sort of drift, mm -hmm. and then carry on swimming. You know, obviously to breathe and to keep going. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Um, I don't think he's a particularly great swimmer. Um, yeah, because I'm trying to imagine a like, soaky swimming, and I just have the doggy paddle, to be honest, in yeah, my head. Yeah, that's, that's basically what's happening. Um, so he'd kind of like, you know, stop, look down, sink a little, and then, you know, limbs flailing. Yeah, and like float again, yeah. Back to swimming, yeah. Yeah, and she just, she kind of just glides around, either on her back or like kind of under the water. Yeah, she seems um, fairly good at swimming, put it that way. 
Okie dokie. Yeah. Anything Maybe you want to like chat to her about or at all in general? Do you want to? Because obviously I'm happy for you to lead this scene because she's happy just to have the company. But if you wanted yeah. to have a conversation, um, you can I, do. Honestly, I think. Um, I think the only thing he would mention. No, I think the only thing he would say, he would kind of like pull himself up and sit down and just be like, are you ever bothered or worried about what's happened or what will? And then look down into the drift. I think then she'll like pivot in the war and then just slowly like on her back and then like just glide kind of towards you kind of gently. Uh, until she's at the steps again, where you're probably sat, looking down mm -hmm. into the war, and then she'll kind of like glide until her shoulders hit the, the steps, and then she'll, it's like slouching, so most of her's in the war, um, and she says, "What do you mean by everything?" And she's got that kind of like you know, comforting look on her face. I think Zig would kind of look her in the face, like properly, like just look at her for the first time. I think I don't think he's like consciously actually looked at her before. Mm -hmm. Um, he's just kind of you know. And you probably saw the like, like he does with everyone sort of acknowledge their existence. Like, yeah, like, and the light's like, probably coming up through obviously the the bottom of the the kind of glass bottom of the boat coming up through the ship, I should say, and then it's probably reflecting off her hair because her hair's all wet probably now. And mm -hmm. it's obviously this kind of like, I guess like mithril, I guess, almost pearlescent with the light coming off of it. Yeah, I think um, Zig would just kind of take like a moment, take in like her face for a second and just be like, when things just happen that you can't or feel like you can't control, does it bother you? And she kind of does that thing where she like dips her head back in the water and looks straight up. And she can like scrunched up her face in her mouth a bit as if she's thinking. And she says, I think it bothers everyone. And she like does that thing where she turns and like leans on her elbow uh, in the water and puts her hand on her chin, like her, sorry, her hand on her, her chin on her fist to like look at you as she's sat sideways in the water. And she says, My sister betrayed me so long ago and I am, I was angry, but, but being angry for that long, what did it do? It got me nowhere. I didn't get out. You and your friends, you all got me out. Does that make sense? Hmm. Anger I'm didn't get sure. me anywhere. Come I think on. Zig would kind of stand up and then, you know, kind of exit the pool, sort of, and, you know, shake off. Mm -hmm. Um, He'd pick up his, his stuff and he'd say, I'm not sure I understand, but maybe I just need to wait. <laughs> she mm. kind of like she smirks at that, and she says, "Just don't leave it as long as I did." And then she splashes you with water from where she is. Um, I think. <laughs> I think Zig just does a big cannonball into the the, the pool. <laughs> yeah. Drops the staff, turns around, and just jumps in. I think as he's kind of in the air, he has, like, in his head, he's kind of thinking about, like, when, when she said, you know, the like, her sister locked her up and betrayed her, mm -hmm. um, he's, he gets, like, mental images of the, the Radiant Supreme mm -hmm. and how he's how he feels about that um yeah um 
because there is a sort of level of um not betrayal because it's not betrayal but he, he definitely feels that sort of that sort of vibe so as he kind of like jumps in like into the air he's getting like flashes of the radiant supreme and that like in his head he's like you know i've got to focus and make a choice yeah you got your own shit to work through yeah yeah. Does that come out in any physical aspect then as you're going like do you like cannonball and go I light think, or whatever? I think when that I think he would he would like glow really intensely just before he hits the water. Yeah. Just like and then the... when he hits the water, the shock of being in the water just kind of eliminates all those thoughts and it's like instant like blackout essentially as far as the mm -hmm. light goes. Um Yeah, I think we just have that like that shot of you like cannonballing in. I And then just kind of her laughter, I guess, filling the room. Because obviously she's pleased at the fact that you chose to stay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm happy to fade out on you two there, unless you have anything else you really want to add to that scene. Cause it's nope, that's fine. I'm I quite happy with that as is, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess, like, the meal's done upstairs, uh, unless there was conversation had during the meal, or was it just consume food? It was probably just consumption food. I'm, I'm sure there would have been chat, but I don't think we're like going over anything. You know. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to conclude day day one here if you are. Yeah. 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 I, um, is there anything right? So let's. I guess we do that nice fade out of a, uh, you know, them in the pool below. You then having your meal above, and it zooms out past the windows, back through the blue drift, and you just see the, the stars, and the sun burning in the distance, ideally, and a. Uh, what do we have a uh, for the next two days? Is there anything people specifically want to do on the ship, or conversations you desperately want to have before we hit Akaton? Because I wouldn't mind actually hitting Akaton before. We I think conclude. the only things Zig would be doing is sort of. Um, he'd probably spend quite a bit of time at the pool, mm -hmm. um, and the egg. Yeah. Kind of meditating where with with the egg. Um, and, you know, taking zig time at the pool. Yeah, and I think if you're going to spend a lot of time at the pool, so does she. She is definitely, like, spending as much time in the water as she can. Um, okay. I think at some point during that as well, she even suggests that you maybe bring the egg to the pool. How seriously Zig takes that is really up to you, but she suggests mm -hmm. it anyway. Um, I, think, I, I think maybe on the last day he would probably... He probably would... Just to, just to, just to, you know, have like all the the nice things around him. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, I mean, like because he has the, he has this sort of like odd sense of peace when he's with the queen. Whether or not that's a good thing or not is yeah, um, remains to be seen. But like the egg gives him that sort of comfort as well. From but like, let's all. scratch at that just now, right? Is it maybe because she doesn't seem like she's bullshitting you, whereas you felt bullshitted by the other person you were close to, like the radiant supreme, like the person you looked up to? Yeah. Like, is it maybe that? Because that's the vibe I get, personally. I think definitely, for sure. Like, it's the... Um... It's like, she's obviously... She carries herself with the same level of, like, self-respect, right, as the Radiant Supreme probably does. A person in, like, in a position of power. Um, an important position. Even if hers was years and years ago. Um, but mm -hmm. she doesn't seem to care about bullshitting people. Like, literally, she just goes and does what she wants. So maybe yeah. that's another it's, thing it's for... It's kind like, of the... Yeah, I think I think he would just kind of feel like this is this is the radiant supreme that he would have wanted. Mm -hmm. Like this, this is like oh, this is the radiant supreme, the like the like kind of really powerful being that I can just talk to and ask questions and yeah, somebody actually not, approachable, as opposed to getting the vaguest of vague <laughs> answers. Of what do you cryptic mean? Message. <laughs> Uh -huh. Um, you know, um, as opposed to being told what's going on, um, <laughs> you know, the, the strangers awoken is very vague. Um, but yeah. So I think that's that's. I think on the last day you'd take the egg down and just. Yeah, like, do you put it in the water? Or do you leave it out of the water? Out of the water. I don't. He's not that brave. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Um... At some point, like she helps you move it onto like a sun lounger, and then puts a towel around the top of it, 
um, as if it's got a towel around its neck. Um, <laughs> and she just stands there, obviously. Again, completely naked, just arms on her hips. Uh, be like, see? It looks happy. And pushes you in the water. <laughs> like, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> He's having yeah. having some I, nice I, beach I time. As long as it looks happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, so what about everybody else then? What's everybody else doing for the next two days on the ship? Hmm, that's a good question. I that's suppose. That's a good question. As I said, I'd rather montage the bits we don't need to care about, and then obviously the parts you want to focus in on will do so. So, as we discussed before, weird, there's no mechanical workshop or anything here. Yep. Um, like, there is probably a lot of parts, though, if you ripped everything apart. Oh, yeah, I spent some time tearing shit out. Um, but as for anything that you probably need, not really. Like I'm running on the assumption that we're probably not going back to the ship. I was about to say, like, maybe just the slightest discussion of what maybe we're going to do with a ship. Afterwards. Well, why don't I say we sell it to a character? Well, like, well, let's not have this a character. Maybe yes. this is, should be a yeah. maybe it should be a yeah. dining room. Yeah. Let's let's just assume dining day two happens right, and everybody's at the table for the sake of having a meal together, right? Um, the Queen's probably in the war. Um, and... I'll be at dinner, though. Like, I've, yeah, I've, so, so, I mean, all the crew will be... Spend my time at... eating with the crew, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, the Queen yeah. and the Egg are down in the pool. Uh, or no, day three was I... Egg by the pool. So yeah, but we mm. zoom in on that and we just have that conversation in character. I think that is important, what you are discussing. Um... I have ordered all of the teas. <laughs> 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 Let's see how many... I've got it. There were 33 types of tea. How many beers? Uh, there are 94 you types had some of difficult beer. players recently, Alex. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ryan. Uh, this doesn't phase me at all. I have a D100 roller that answers these questions yeah. for me. <laughs> uh. Yep. I think I think just being in quarantine is getting to me. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm peculiar. I mean, to be fair, if you wanted to have done this game 24 style, like, I'm happy to do it hour by hour, minute by minute, <laughs> on, on the ship for three days. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. You know, I'm off work for three months. I mean, yeah, so yeah. I mean, here we are, right? This is us, Neil. Oh, I'm working from home. I can just yeah, set up. Fellow. Right, so it's fra- Fragments of Eternity, a. Uh, was it moment by moment? <laughs> Yeah. Yep. yeah. 72 hours in drift. <laughs> Start now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, but hey. we have to be laughing. Yeah. In other news, uh, as a small aside, I am hoping to one day do a 24 hour RP stream at some point. So, anyone that's mad enough to want to do that with me at some point on Twitch, you are welcome to, to join me. Because uh, I would like, that's my next achievement I'd like to try and go for as a GM. I've done the 54 sessions in a row for a year. So my next thing is to see if I can just do a game for 24 hours. And then probably never RP for a month after that. Uh, but that'd be interesting if I can keep a game going. I that. literally think my brain would melt. Like, I, I would, I'd be a dribbling, goopy mess. I, I would no longer resemble a human being after 24 hours. The thing is, I wouldn't have asked you because I want to do it on stream and I know you're... Yeah, because of cameras. Thing. Yeah, but that's okay. So meanwhile, back in the dining table. Back at the dining table? Day uh, it's, I probably got, like, five of, like, one of the, the sides that I liked. Mm-hmm. The, for the first day. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, you can reorder whatever you like from the first day, yeah. yeah I think Zig's eating, like, substantially more than what everyone's probably used to seeing him eat. Yeah, because you're probably eating for two days, right? So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably eating something nutritionally balanced that offended the, yeah. <laughs> the chef. Mm-hmm. So that'd be... So I guess it's like chop or something probably just say like so what do they do with the ship the new ship yeah the ship hmm mm. <laughs> I uh can we take Cecil I mean paid work is going to be few and far between for the foreseeable future I felt it was probably best that we distance ourselves from the ship 
we did after all want to keep as low a profile as we can. Does Lyco oh, mention gosh. the fact that the Queen mentioned it was hers? Well, I mean, no, but <laughs> we are sort of trying to not be too directly linked to her, or at least I, I was. I mean, um, you, you, literally Zora, maybe this is a good time to bring this up, but yeah, Zora has agreed she's part of your crew now, so... <laughs> well, I, I, you know, it's, it's sort of same way we were saying. I, I feel like we, uh... We would probably do well to avoid being associated with the mysterious changing hands of a, a large pre a pleasure vessel which suddenly turns up and starts orbiting the world and it, it all seems a bit I know it seems like a lot of uh, unwanted attention but potentially potentially well I'm probably nodding because I don't want the vessel uh been. I'm sure there's some trader on Akaton that might want to, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the Queen would be eager to part. Oh. I mean, I guess I can see why someone of a stature would maybe want to keep a vessel like this, but. Mm. I suspect it might be more suited to her needs than ours. Yeah, that's fair. Should we include her in this conversation? Well... How does Zig feel about that then? Because that's maybe a good thing for Zig to... Um, weigh in, because obviously Zig's probably a bit closer to the Queen now than ever. <sighs> Shall we... go get her? Sure, I'll just come her now. <laughs> to the tad, right? <laughs> I like to believe I like to believe it's a pipe on the wall, like an old grammar phone style. Of <laughs> it's the not, but I like to believe that, yeah. The talking tubes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very steampunk fan. Mm. But, mm. Uh, but yeah, like so you, you open the tad with like the PU. Yep. Um Woo. Your Highness. <laughs> Your Highness, we are having dinner again and discussing the future of this vessel. If you would like to join us and have a say in it, we will have a drink waiting for you. Yep. And you close the tanner system. Cecil, get and some drinks with the Queen. And then the little icon near you blinks. What would the Queen like? Dark Elven wine. <laughs> it's got to be some wine in there, but it's just she wanted some wine. Cecil, bring the wine back. You have sampled all eleven. But she hasn't. You wish eleven glasses of wine? Yes. Is that not decadent enough for you? Uh, very good, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then eleven glasses shoot out of the thing in the middle. And heads to your I, place. <laughs> I arrange them into an empty space. <laughs> yeah, you just Ready like sit them next to you or something, yeah. <laughs> You've really taken to this uh, particular system. It's just so um, poorly optimized. I think they have a shot in the kitchen, and it's just. Cess on you, poorly optimized. I'll give him poorly optimized. How <laughs> <laughs> dare he speak poorly of my decadence? <laughs> if we do scrap the ship, perhaps we could take the system for ours. I would like that. You can guarantee the Vesk ship you have active at the moment definitely does not have a fucking chef to push. But it will once we're done with it. <laughs> if you have not, I'm not complaining, I'm probably down for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, with its 81 like types of war. Oh Christ, I'm going to have to listen to this guy even more. Oh no. <laughs> 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 fucking annoying thing. I just and, miss uh, having a fridge. 
and a microwave. Yeah. You put things from the fridge into the microwave, and then it cooks it. I could cook myself. <laughs> weird, <laughs> weird is just having images of the box of nutrient bars in his quarters. <laughs> oh dear. Probably still on verses, right? Like in terms of, it's probably in the car hole, not in the. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Boxed up. Three month supply. Yep. Uh, All so the yeah. nutrients in one bar. So, as per the ship discussion, uh, yeah, like mm-hmm. maybe you just wait for five, ten minutes. The queen hasn't budged. Like, like there's no sign of her, at least. Um, like, we take this as she doesn't care. <laughs> she's, she's. A, anytime you've used a tally to get her, like she's never answered it. Like, if you've ever wanted her, you'd have to have went to the pool. But I don't know how many of you actually went there. I don't think MD besides Zig. On day one, so. I feel like oh, if yeah. I go to the pool, it's just going to be hoffing with all cut on. I no feel worries. very much that she will not be inclined to part with it. So let's let's work from the assumption that this is a uh, spoken for. Question for me is how do we uh, how do we avoid people linking us to it? I th- I think she'll probably do a pretty good job of keeping it low profile, or at least as low as it can be. In what way do you think that she will keep it low profile? I don't think she's eager to keep that, eager to draw attention to the fact that, uh, you know, the circumstances under which she came by this ship. So, I'm not saying she won't entertain on it, but... uh, But she's not likely to keep herself low profile, given the show that went on at the uh, dockyard. Perhaps we should uh, falsify some records of transfer then. So that if anyone does go looking, at least the cursory I wonder plant. if she's perhaps already... Mm, no, probably she wouldn't have. I, that might be something worth putting in your heads together on. Obviously, I'm not... Once we get to Akaton, we can find one of our colleagues who processed transfers okay good thinking they yep. should maybe CC uh, could help you out in that front as well right Lyco maybe that dawns on you yes yeah potentially mm-hmm. yeah we might yeah we might be able to uh, no other planet sees ships trade hand as quickly or <laughs> efficiently as like Agaton true A veritable job shop <laughs> <laughs> okay its menu is better than Cecil. <laughs> that is not this... true. <laughs> <laughs> the emoticon this... blinks. This is uh, encouraging. Um... Question is, what's our first step when we get there? We need to secure our ship, surely. Yeah, that makes sense. So we are seeking encrypted communications to Alice to bring our ship to us. Everybody has a shudder remembering Alice as a thing, and that she's been <laughs> left for how long herself? I'm still twitching. It's not all <laughs> in my mind. So, and once we've got Alice and Ivan, then <laughs> presumably we need to go about gathering our weapons together and... Maybe dealing with Escape's body that's sitting in a vault. Yes, there's that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and we should probably also look to our any potential allies. I don't know if. Read. Yes. Or. We might be able to. Uh, if we. Uh, if we play it right, and I don't mean to be, I don't mean to be crass about it, but I, uh, I think if we play it right, we can maybe use the fact that we have access to Furler's body as a bargaining chip with the church. Abadar Corp is uh, yes. they want their own back, and. 
we can maybe give them reason to look at you know just waiting for the table flip from weird <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of well no I would I would like the idea as well I don't know if like sort of yeah because it's like I was, gonna say, I was literally to say it's a warrior's death she had as well right so yeah I would probably, yeah, mid mic, I'd probably cut in. I would just be like, oh, she gets a proper burial. Yeah, yeah so that's it's a bargain shop. Like, a, if you look at her mission, she was opposed to the activities of the dragons as an employee of the Church of Abadar. I don't think that we need to bargain with them for their support in a fight against them. They're a large, large corporation. Yes. Any corporation of that size is going to have many, many sub-factions with many, many different priorities. There's no guarantee that simply because Furler was focused on that, that the organization on the whole will be. But it's unlikely she was the only one. It is unlikely, yes. So we can at least find some support, I'm sure, and we should likely find out what's happening with Aspis, because if Aspis is embroiled in its own civil then I'm sure Abadar uh, you get to take advantage of that? yes, that was my thinking exactly yeah, so Zig, a lot of this connotates images of Edgar again <laughs> mm. given that they're talking about that like missing Emelyn, obviously, since Emelyn's still with Aspis and then you've got, obviously all the stuff with Edgar, and then maybe all the stuff with Hermione comes up, so, yeah. What a fun, fun reminder. I think, I think Zig has, like, this horrible feeling of being completely unsure as to where his allegiances are. Mm-hmm. Because he does, he has this. He already has. He still has that sort of distaste towards Furler, anyway. Mm-hmm. And he's got that kind of. I don't want to say friendship, but at least acquaintances equate acquaintance with um, Edgar now. Mm-hmm. But he's, you know, that he's fairly comfortable and would be happy, kind of standing up for him. I love how darkness but, rainbow monster. That you found inside what looks like a sweaty intestine, who stole you through time, versus women who died for you so you could live. I love the comparison, though. Just, just from an outside perspective, I love the yes, still, still not further. fond of further or further. Fucking hell. Further. Still not a fan of further. Further. Um, I, well, it's not that he's not a fan. I think he's still has those. I think it's more just. Well, you never you know, had a very good experience with her, yeah. Something, and then you're like, even though you've been proven that this thing, like, told and shown that this thing is good, you still have that, like... Uh, yeah, and she was still trying to get memories that weren't hers, right? So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, the, my, my initial, like, response, my initial, like, view of you and, you know, um, what other people have told me from before I knew you mm-hmm. is a bit... Yeah, I'm still not... I'm still got those feelings, even though whether or not they're justified is yeah, irrelevant. It's just so interesting from a point of view, like I think every day in the crew has a slightly different viewpoint on her, which is interesting because again, you've got that experience where she tried to take stuff from your mind. Like Zora's probably got a lot of respect. I don't want to speak for either. I yeah, respect. But like, what else yeah, she could hold her own fighting you one on one. Never mind that. Like she kind of got the better of you, and then also as it did, like she died to get you guys out, um, take you guys away, and held her own in the combat with you side by side. So there's definitely like a kind of camaraderie type vibe, if nothing else. There, um, obviously her methods of just taking the ship sometimes weren't exactly welcomed. Then you've got. Lyco, who had a kind of professional working relationship with her, where it was a case of this this currently benefits. We align for the moment. Um, yeah. Beyond that, I don't know what else you think, but with with Nyx specifically, I don't mean weird, I mean Nyx. Mm-hmm. There were uh, memories, obviously. 
Yeah. From a time before. Things got weird. Yeah, mm. right. Mm -hmm. Things got weirder. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, how does that conversation pan out? Just in general, I mean, like with the... <laughs> what, like, weird has just said, here is everything we are dealing with right now. Sort of. Or is that just the end of day two, maybe? I'm gonna kind of send my piece there, I don't know though. Yeah, I think that's yeah. end of day two. I feel like we build our checklist of potential allies and work. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's something you do in day three, then maybe that's what obviously Weird does, is sit and work on who he thinks is, is worth pursuing. In terms of, I don't mm -hmm. necessarily mean like Hamani or whatever, I just mean in, in general, like who do you think is worth. Who's on your side of the board? Who's on their side of the board, I guess, is the best yeah, thing to. Yeah, I kind of want to take stock. Mm -hmm. So maybe you spend some time doing that. Um, is there any obvious choices you've got in mind that you want to share with the group or maybe pull from the group just now? I'm curious about Zig's church, actually. Okay. You can draw from them. That's a lot of history. Yeah, whether there's any factions within them that would be of use. Yeah. Something to maybe approach Zig about. No, definitely. Maybe you do then. Maybe like you go looking for a Zygon in D three. Mm -hmm. uh, you're obviously going to find him in the swimming pool. Yep. Wander in there. Yeah. So I think you wander in. You walk past the egg sitting on the sunlinger with its towel. <laughs> <laughs> Living its greatest life. Whether or not it's regarded you, you're unsure. <laughs> <laughs> You've just walked through the steam room to get here, of course, as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then, Playing just just the kilt. Yep. And uh, yeah, like you're in there, and I guess like Zig and the Queen are in the water, probably. Zig, do you have a moment of your time? I think Zig would um, excuse himself from the Queen and walk over. And I think well, the Queen stops you leaving the water. Over. Like she just grabs like the scruff of your neck, probably, and pulls you back. And she goes, "No, no, this is my office." And you come, and she points to the water. <laughs> I think it's a good laugh. And what was that um, weird? Can I inquire about the dress code? I think she just stands up, and obviously <laughs> you see the top half of her is naked. And she goes, "Yes, my dress is over there." And she points to one of the sun loungers. Where her dress actually is. Very well. And just next throws his clothes over mm -hmm. in a pile in the corner, as yep. he probably normally does. Yep. And just uh, wade in. Wades in. Mm hmm Yeah. So, carefully balancing himself. Oh, it should be great for actually for lowering yourself. It'd be so good. <laughs> um, <laughs> you remember, that one to your arms. Remember the, like, the part you're coming in as well is a uh, there's like the entire floor is like a kind of semicircular staircase going into the water anyway, so you can just mm. like walk in. Yep. And then maybe at this point you notice all the cool blue lighting from underneath. It's obviously the drift drive or drift space, I should say. Yeah. How deep is the pool? Uh, the far end, very deep. Okay. You're like pretty tall though, so yeah. Yeah. Like, probably two of your arms eight. are out of the water. Yeah. At the deep end. Yeah. Yeah. So I take a little stroll. Yeah. Down and back. And come and sit. Probably able to sit cross legged in the pool where Zig is. Yeah. And like, obviously, the Queen and Zig are there as well, just kind of treading water. Uh, Zig, uh, we perhaps should mm. talk about potential allies. Okay. Have you heard from the anyone at the order? The monastery. I get a mad flashback, and um, um, maybe there's like a little pulse uh, of light that just like ripples through you as well. Yeah. This is a hearkening uh, back to your cannonball moment. Yes, um, and I think I think uh, yeah, as I would would say, I not had words. From or to the solar temple in a while. Like over a year? 
in Zig time, it might not actually be that long. No, it ago. isn't. No. So that's that's why he kind of pauses both thing while, but is very unsure. Yeah, maybe like two, three months, maybe. Yeah. Like maybe that, which is crazy. Would you feel comfortable reaching out to them? Any friends you have there, who might be able to provide assistance in our coming missions. Um. I think I think Zig sort of flinches when he says friend, um, and then you know Edso mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. pops into his head, um, and he kind of shakes that through, and he he says, um, "I'm I'm sure there's a, um, I'm I'm sure there will be a, a like a like a, 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 I'm trying to think of the word, um, I don't want to say, um." Uh, like an embassy, but not embassy. Like an ambassador, an emissary. Like an like an emissary, but like sort of like place upon like on, maybe not all the all the planets, but on, like you know a few of them. A chapel um, of some sort. Yeah. Yeah, like a, like a wee like a wee chapel or a wee church somewhere. A um, solarium. Sh- oh yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure there'll be a solarium, so like um, probably somewhere on on one of the nearby planets that we could pro- maybe maybe reach out to um but um, I'm, I'm 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 unsure as to where everything stands you know time's a bit lost oh, yes i understand do you want to roll religion Ish. for me uh, Zig? Uh, yes i'm not sure if i want to actually hold on <laughs> but i will anyway Or I would, if there was. Might be culture. Might not oh, be. Go for culture. If you've got a profession, do you have a profession? Uh, which I don't know. No, didn't know. Didn't so we're going culture. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, the the only solari like solariums or solariums, whatever you want to say, uh, that you know of, there would have been one in Absalom. Mm-hmm. Which is quite clearly gone. Yes. And maybe, maybe verses. Okay. But you're Our not. Shit. You're not sure about that. I would. I would let weird know. Because yeah, primarily, it's on the sun. It's the sun. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'd let him know. I'd say, well, there's de- there was definitely one on on Absalom, but um. There, there, there may I, I, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe be one on verses. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm completely unsure. The reason you think there might be one in verses is because half of the planet's stuck on the sun all the time. Uh huh. So if there was gonna be somewhere, if there's gonna be a place, yeah, it, it might be there. Like if Zig was gonna place somewhere, yeah, because I mean, be there. Absalom yeah. because of the traffic, right? Um, and then verses because of the fact that it's like. Tidally locked, or whatever they called it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, no worries. I'm sure we can make a connection on the infosphere and find out some more details. But you're, you're a priest, the Queen kind of just mentions. Um, not quite. I am. Um... I was a disciple of the solar temple. What does that mean? I think Zig would say, uh, have I mind linked with the queen yet? I probably have, haven't I? Mm, No. 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 Because you told me not to. That's why. Um, oh, it was Zora last time. Yes, of course. Um, and then I think I think Ziggur told out his hand and he saved it. May I? Zora is my last victim. And she, her hand and she says, "May you what? Share my mind." She gives a look to weird. 
and then back to to Zig. It's the briefest thing. And she quickly darts her eyes to you and then back to, to Zig. She says, if that's something you want, I would be honoured. And then Zig kind of just puts his hand out as in to kind of like gesturing for her to either reach out or Yeah, and whatever. she'll she'll take your hand. Um and then he'll as you just awkwardly tread like, water together, yeah. Yeah. Uh I think Zig's probably got one arm on the side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's pretty short. Um and the, the he would just kind of mind link with the intention to share his time at the the temple. Maybe consciously not um sharing graduation day but or like when it gets to graduation day kind of cutting off as that happens so um, i think that's the thing are you giving graduation day or not because i think you need to see what you're giving across right yeah um because if you're not actively stopping it when you link you send her everything about your time there whereas if you say i think he would i'll send her I everything think... but the fact that her sister murdered one of my mentors both maybe I think what would happen is he he wouldn't actively think that, but when it like came to that point in his head, he would be like, no, 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 and like cut the thing. So it'd be kind of you know as as Zig's being called up, mm -hmm. yeah, by the Radiant Supreme, and then probably like the noise of the the was was he the laser pistol or whatever it was we got shot yeah. by or the rifle. Um, the, the noise and then it would be black and then he'd cut off yeah can you roll a will save uh, I'm sure I can whether or not I can succeed is another story mm. okay ah <laughs> you know you never held any of it back oh, okay yeah because I think as soon as that happens you're also given the I don't want you to see this over to her Mm -hmm. As you go, oh, nope, cut that off. Oh, don't swipe on my album too many times, please. Thank you. Just stay in the photo, wish, would you? Yep. Give, me, um, give me my phone back, please. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Oh, nope, too late. <laughs> yep, that's ass. But yep, there we go. So you've got a... Uh... Yeah, as soon as she cottons onto that, there's a slightly more feral part of her mind that literally just... As if you were trying to pull back, as if a, like a hand grabbed you by the throat, but obviously metaphysically in your mind. Um, yeah, <laughs> the point where you cannot actually like move back. Of course, Alex, you're, you're used to this by now. And um, I am, yes. <laughs> this is how I describe shit. And um, she she witnesses the whole graduation day. Okay. Do you no? Minus the fact that you know you failed the save. Were you including the second time you went through graduation day? Is that the is that your knowledge of graduation day now? No, it's it'll have been like act. I think the actual historical. Yeah. So the like his, the original his memory as time. Zig then the original. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's fine. Yep. Time because that otherwise that would I think it would have been a conscious decision to. Oh no, hundred percent. Yeah, like as opposed to as to, opposed to consciously omitting it. Mm -hmm. um, no, it's yeah. just because they're different events. That's why, if that makes sense. Even though you went back yes. to that event, <laughs> chronologically for me they're different. Um, yeah. Um, so it would have been, you know, the, the the first Zig instance. Yeah. So after that moment, episode that, zero. Yeah. yeah. So that that tiny moment of you sending the information, you know, you've you've let everything go. Like you didn't hold back, like you wanted to. So yeah. you know she got I, everything. I think during that, I think as soon as he'd realised he can't, he couldn't go back, he would just let it play, but not try not to focus on it himself. Well, yeah, I mean, as I said, obviously this gets, like, sent in an instant, right? So this all goes over in, like, a yeah. second. And then, um, from, like, Weird's perspective, the touch hands, the effect of the mind link happens, however that is, that Zig described previously, and we keep continuity, obviously, because uh, we're that kind of show. And then yes. she takes her hand back off of Zig quicker than would be considered polite. And Weird, you maybe witness this more than Zig comes to. And then... Uh, she just like swims to the the steps and just walks out, picks up her dress, like without saying anything. Uh, mm -hmm. Puts the dress on, 
does up the neck, and then she turns around and says, I think I best leave you to your discussions. And then she just walks through the steam room. I think for a moment Zig forgets that he's, you know, probably like double his height in water. Mm -hmm. Sinks a little bit and then like squirms and panics a little bit and then, you know, remembers to dread water and Mm -hmm. looks up at Nyx. Or weird. Mm -hmm. Weird, sorry. Ah. Would you care to explain? Uh, She witnessed graduation. And I mean, you've seen graduation. You went with him. Yeah. And what do you think she thought of it? I think the zig looks looks that um, weird, sort of blankly, and looks down back at the the drift. Mm-hmm. And just says, "I don't know." Perhaps we should go and ask her. Not now. Very well. I think it would be helpful if you did at some point. He'd look look back up at, at Weird and just nod um, and then kind of in that sort of kind of lost in thought um, expression. So is this where you've been spending all of your time? All of my time. Maybe this is when. You look at the egg. I was gonna say maybe this is when a uh, weird reminds him it's like day three. <laughs> yeah. And then starts doing the backstroke. <laughs> As opposed to the. Uh, is, is that with like butterfly? all four arms going, or are like two arms like cradling the back of his head? And he's... <laughs> yep. Two arms holding his head. While he's, uh, <laughs> backstroke, looking at Zig. And then I'd, I'd, I think Zig would have this sort of like realization of like, did time go? <laughs> As you're trying For not to look at his junk, junk right. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think he's still kind of um, immersed in the, the, the drift. Um, he's probably got that sort of hypnotic quality. Mm-hmm. I think at that weird is probably just gonna just be doing laps yeah. back and forth. And yeah, I think maybe we, we maybe fade out on that then. Um yep. on that scene. Uh, is there anything anybody else desperately wants to get in before we drop out as drift? No, not from me anyway. Michael. Uh so it's uh, little, 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 fucking hell, Colin. Uh, flip back. It's, I, I He's making to... out with Cecil. Oh no! I tried to no! It's slop, which is bad. Uh, slip back into the uh, the nice nice suit. Mm-hmm. Get ready for landing. But that's about it. Just making sure he's resuited. Yeah. Um. So I think maybe like th- the ship, like you know, coming out of drift alarm, but fancier. Um. <laughs> but more money, please. And people who care go to the the bridge, I guess. Yep, which I would. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, we just have the shot of all the blue like fading away, um, like dying fire, uh, and obviously the stars coming into view, and then Akaton just staring at you, uh, and then the ship just obviously informing you you've arrived and it's about to take up orbit. Um, there isn't specifically anyone you need to tell that you're orbiting Akaton, really. Um, unless you want official permission to land. But what is official permission on Akaton? Right? Yeah. Um, as long as we've got a big ship. Can everybody make a will save? Okay. Probably not. Da, 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 da. Oof. Doesn't your 
phantom nasal ganglia or whatever the fuck it's called. Basal ganglia. Oh yeah, that would be a plus one depending on what... Let me just check. Again. Like, I guess mind altering effects or some shit? It's it's weirdly phrased because the way it's written, it sounds like it'd apply to everything. But I mean, that's uh, that's, that's poison mind, rules. It, mental influence and control, mind affecting effects. So I can get plus one against it. Oh, I did. I click, click the wrong one. Yes, I did. Uh, pretend I didn't put that in chat and put fuck fuck put um that instead. Right. So we've got. Yeah. A seventeen. Mind affecting effects. We got a seventeen, a thirteen, a nine, and a thirteen. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I get I get a plus two to mind affecting effects. Uh, yep. Um. Yep. So you get a fifteen. Yep. I get a fifteen, which in D and D is fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My thirteen would be a fourteen. So, you awesome. have no idea what the DC is, though, Alex. That's the only thing. So. The... Yeah, but if this was D and D. <laughs> well, do you know what? Let's start again, right? We'll start using D and D, right? Yes. Uh, we'll just sci-fi everything up, so it'll be a space barbarian, unfortunately. Yep. Um, barbarian. Yep. <laughs> a barbarian. Yep. A barbarian. Sponsored by Spar. Um, we got spars. Yep. But anyway, mm. before we derail too much, um, <laughs> these are all de-leveled one. Um, no, <laughs> get them. So, as soon as you all get there. Uh, Akaton comes into view, big orb that it is in space. Um, you all remember having this conversation, okay? As soon as you drop out of drift, and it's a woman with a veil standing. Uh, she speaks with like lots of voices. Bond women. Very, very, like very much. No, then that was a very, very wet ghost lady. And uh, the the memory is that you've greeted this person. They've introduced themselves as Rama Sethu, and they expect an audience with Lyco Quint. Okay, I think I know what kind of spooky person it is. But you're all. I never said they were spooky. I said they were veiled. They're spooky. <laughs> they're veiled. They're spooky. Oh, and I'm gonna die. Or you're um, recently married or spooky, or both. Usually both. Usually both. <laughs> recently <laughs> married. <laughs> um, but yeah. Nothing spooky in commitment. And this is it. So, there you go, everybody. This is the person or the figure you see. Oh, I don't trust her. I don't trust her. And you all remember having the conversation. Mm -hmm. I, you don't remember this person ever having spoke, if that makes sense. Like, you don't remember seeing them speak to you, you just remember you had the conversation with them. And the like, for Lyco as well, you know the coordinates of where you, they want you to meet them. Okay. Um, and it's on Akaton. We're and, not going there, right? And it's a... I think we end on that, quite frankly. Yeah. Where everybody has that look yeah. at each other, where you all see Ramasethu and hear that and I think maybe it ends on the note of who the fuck is that from the Queen and then quite we, vulgar, isn't she? We, we cut there I mean I just don't think she likes people going in her mind right <laughs> mm. I mean uh, yeah right uh, it's probably the first she's have seen the Queen for this this as well like that's probably the she probably took a lot of time after Zig downloaded that scene to her so, based on that, let us review our goals. Back to the final hour, regroup and brief. I would say, Ongoing. I would Soon, say hopefully. you've done that for everything but the fact that it's yeah. on the final hour. Do you know what I mean? Yep. So just change it to any ship, and you'll be fine. Get back to the ship. ship. <laughs> Get back to Get a ship. ship. Important, so I think we can hold with that. Moment. Yeah, so that's that's almost done. A uh, fix armor is ongoing. Secure an ally in CC ongoing. Gather intel is really a pending goal, so it really shouldn't be in there. But yeah, it's highly dependent on actually picking your goal. And explore a connection between the solar and void X. Is everybody happy with the goals as is, or wish to change them? I am good. Stay the course. 
Staying the course of courses. Stay the course currently. And we want to change the course. any of the goals to tweak them in any way, or are you happy with them as is? Yes. All good. Good. I. In that case, what are we naming the session? Fuck. I don't think fuck's a good name. No. The beach episode. <laughs> 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 Beach volleyball filler. <laughs> and, uh, what about off menu depths? Hmm. Mostly like or in depth or some shit like that. Um, in depth. Uh, the only reason I suggest that is because you went into deep with the menu. Quite frankly. Um, <laughs> also, we're going for into deep. Yeah, it could, into deep could be good. Yeah. It was a very what's on the menu sort of meant. Like fucking mm -hmm. episode. Yeah. What's on the menu? <laughs> um, Into deep. I like even it. discussing what we'll do next. Stuff. Oh, I thought you would like it. Oh, uh, Colin. I, I, I'm Fine a dining. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can either submit or vote as is. What are we calling it? I support Into Deep. Into Deep. Into Deep, I guess. It is. Mm. Actually, no, we've already had a session called Into Deep. It was on the 25th of October. Oh, oh. Shit. Oh. Uh, oh. Nice, quite better beings. Um. So, Into Deep is not valid. Sorry, guys. And everybody in chat that caught that, well done. 11 types oh. of wine. <laughs> uh, uh, what was it? A uh, uh, thingy for your thoughts. Oh, Lily for your thoughts. A lily for your thoughts. Um, oh, we do have an into deep. God damn it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Have we covered all of the great pop decadence. punk hits? Decadence. Decadence is decadence. a good one, yeah. Yeah, decadence. Decadence. God, how the fuck do you spell decadence? There we go, got it. Is it so? That's decadence, it right? How fuck me, I can't speak. Decadence. There we go. Yes. It's like having decades. Decadence. Of ends. That's um, why I get more decadent as I get older. I like how, like, our. Our naming That's conventions okay. getting to one word things where it's like authenticity, decadence. It's like these are coming up in the world. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Near the end. Of starting it. a perfume range. Yes, this is in the rose garden. Authenticity, <laughs> decadence. Yup. Um, like a provocative one called something like provocateur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, because it, it, it would be called thing. it would be called royal whore. That's what it'd be called, and it'd be a lipstick. You're right. Um, It'd be a nude it'd lipstick, be like of course. Or something, I'd something <laughs> in the advert for it. Anyway, uh, we've got a session name. I can't believe we we all renamed the fucking session after Into Deep. What the fuck? Go on. Yeah, um, you know what? These things happen. We've had a lot of sessions. This is true. And that was 46 so far. Uh, 47 total, really, for me. Um, technically, 48 if you include the story so far. So yeah, we're doing good. Um, beyond that, though, uh, let's, let's start our roundup chat, shall we? Do you want to start us off? Let's just go down the line, shall we? Colin? Yeah, uh, I, I think I actually could get ahead in a minute anyway, yeah. so it's probably wise. Uh, it was it was an unusual one. I think I think we had a bit of a, a weird and perhaps sort of fairly inadvertent set piece of the of the kitchen <laughs> of the table of. of uh, and Did for some reason it became like almost a filler episode, but then of course we were filling drift time so it made sense it would be. Uh, and we do have downtime episodes every now and then, but we had this, for whatever reason, weird sort of theme seemed to emerge because we were, you know, taking advantage of the facilities. Mm -hmm. um, so that was interesting, that was, that was a bit of a change of pace. Um, I like that we've ended in this little... I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put my cars in the table, lads, and I'm gonna say that's a bone sage. <laughs> that's maybe wrong, but that is my expectation, right? I'm gonna tell you why. She got veil, so she's spooky. Recently married. Yeah, recently married Egyptian woman, spooky. Um, so yeah, I'm anticipating as because it's me as well. I'm the contact, right? She, she could be police, I suppose. Um, <laughs> Spooky police. Is, she, oh my god, she's a spy. Get it? Uh, anyway. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. So, yeah, that that was cool. That was a nice little bit to end on. I didn't anticipate that, but that ties into with some, to some stuff I was intending to do once I got to Akita. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Um, 
I like that we How got long that. sorry, can I just say on that note? How long that message has been waiting for you is crazy. The amount yeah. of times you have wanted to get to Akaton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but carry on. Um, we had a, a nice little bit with I'm just gonna stick around because I'm I am i am watching a thing, but you know what, I can watch and talk to you guys. There's no reason I can't. Oh, so it was session um, twenty eight, by the way, you've been trying to get there since. Really? Oh fucking hell. <laughs> technically um, technically earlier because I'll see you on Absalom is session twenty four. And you agreed that you're going to head to Akaton as a last ditch. And that's when you first things, things got in the way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Twenty <laughs> twenty two <laughs> sessions. <in> <laughs> um <laughs> so that, that's a cool little thing for me going forward. Uh there was some fun, I think, for for uh, Alex with, uh, <laughs> with interacting with with uh, Cecil. That, that was interesting. I, I actually thought it was interesting how he seemed to like ribbing the machine more than like with it, mm -hmm. uh, because we're both very used to interacting with intelligent or seemingly intelligent machines. And Alice. Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um. And Lyco doesn't really have a huge amount of time for them. Well, Alice is different because she is intelligent. Mm -hmm. Whether or not she's truly alive, maybe now. Mm -hmm. Probably now you would say she is, but initially maybe not. Probably Zex That's fault. an interesting question. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but, you know, she's intelligent. She's someone you can speak to. But he, he did occasionally make comments like, um, you know, when he first like, saw her image, I think he said something like, you know, they always make them cute. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I think he, I think he called her cute first, and she was quite complimented. And it was, it, but he, he made the, like he was making a point of like, you know, I know what they're doing here. Like this is this is yeah, she's, lull you she's affable, her. right, or yeah. amiable. Yeah, they, they put they put they put a hologram of a pretty friendly face up in front of you. You know, he he, he did occasionally say things like that that maybe give you the impression that he didn't fully look at her as another being mm -hmm. um which i think is it's not necessarily entirely accurate but he does have a sort of residual distaste for machines i think um, we got a bit of that from the lower spire as well just your little brief because didn't you briefly go into the lower spire or am i missing I? I just feel like you went there and then like so. left, but maybe I'm getting it wrong. So I think you actually went in. I think you just went to the. I thought I went to it with them, but I didn't think it went in. Um, maybe I'm misremembering, but it wasn't I wild. honestly, it's been so fucking long. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, that's something that I want to try and, and and convey, but I don't go hard with because it's not a major like mo. It's not a major motivating factor for Lyco. He just grew up in a world that basically was run by and for machines and the organics were kind of incidental uh -huh. there yeah. and he has a bit of residual distaste for that um and it comes through sometimes mm -hmm. um but maybe one day we will publish the, the story of like <laughs> uh but no it was good that, that we got to see a little bit of next like having fun weird talking yeah. at the system weird sorry yes mm -hmm. um he couldn't he, he spotted a flaw and just couldn't help but play with it <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so that was fun just exploring that for really no reason other than exploring it um, and we also got a nice moment for, for Callum where he got to interact in a bit of a more positive way like with someone Queen because you know even even this episode he's he's been a bit of an angsty boy a little mm -hmm. a little um, but it was a very briefly drunk wholesome. and then hyped up on caffeine. Yeah, but it was it was like a wholesome <laughs> thing where he has this completely like obviously species divide is a factor there. Mm. I think that like just like just hanging around with the queen in the buff and that's mm -hmm. not an issue. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought that was quite cute because it sort of gave an aura of innocence to him. Mm -hmm. It's this sort of sense that I just I didn't even know it's like. So um, also maybe just that she's used to things like maybe public baths in the sense of um, like royal public baths, if you get what I mean. Um, I uh, I would probably had I had any reason to interact with her in, in the buff, I he he would probably have been slightly awkward about it, but not yeah. like awkward in his part, but probably awkward in like in the sense that you know mm -hmm. 
he's, he's gonna make a comment or something. Oh, so it's maybe gonna like throw your throw your thoughts towards Shakos, right? Uncomfortably. Um, I, 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 <laughs> we're assuming something there. He likes Shakos, but he's not really. He's not really. Is it because uh, she's Drew? No, it's he's not exactly. <laughs> He's not asexual or anything like that. He does have interest. And I think like was straight. I don't know if I've said that before. I think like was straight. Um, I don't know. I'm not not really put much thought into it. But what I do know is that Lyco has sort of deliberately put that part of himself behind them. If MD would like to make that decision really... at home, £500. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Um... <laughs> and we'll, we'll let you pick Lyco's sexuality. But certainly he tries to sort of put that out of the way mm -hmm. um but yeah. he has it you know he's not asexual as i say like he, he definitely is like it's just a, you've got a, that important thing of existential dread to deal with right well it's because sex is intimately connected with life right mm. um, and he has appetites you see him when he's eating and that he, he definitely likes the sort of things of the flesh so un unsurprisingly he still has a sort of appetite there but he, do he does to some degree sort of consciously try and avoid dealing with it. So, that might be interesting in future uh, to see how he reacts to things like that. Uh, but for this session, I didn't really have any particular reason to involve myself in those scenes. I didn't. Um, Everyday session 47, brothels and arms is what the title oh, wow. is going to be called. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, that was, it, was, it was good fun with a lot of stuff for all of... Well, yeah, I think we all did have things we were we wanted to address and things to interact with. So yeah, it was it was a good, nice little little round off session to sort of cap that arc and bring us on to the start of the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Nico, uh, I did enjoy uh, six like drunken slash coffee and just like <laughs> ran. That was good. Fun. The captain uh, be like, "Oh God, I've offered him a drink, but now I don't think he should drink him now. If I say I don't think he should drink, is he going to have another go at me? Because I don't think <laughs> it's good. it was good." <laughs> I love the idea of a Vesk worrying about stuff that you have never had to think about before because you go, you just do the stuff. I really enjoyed the water selection, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, yeah. I, I I don't know for some reason it really fits. It's sort of simple, plain, primal, even like. I want to hydrate myself now, thank you. Eh, wait, it was The session was funny. We need to, like, thank you. but should have made the shit. Um, <laughs> truly, if it's just to annoy Colin every time he goes for a, <laughs> for a meal, if that'd be amazing. More, I would have shot him. Eh. <laughs> 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 uh, Do you leave my chef to puss alone? <laughs> I like the, like the beach episode. It's good. With just the, the mm -hmm. swimming pool shenanigans. It's always this, fun. This would be the the episode which gets like the the coloured in page in the manga, mm -hmm. and it yeah. gets like a pin up that you can pull out from the from the tin boken. <laughs> yeah, it would definitely be like the the drow queen with her dress, wouldn't it? Mm. Only not on, she's just holding it against her. Yep, that would be the pull out. Oh dear. Any thoughts for that, there, Nico? I like the I like the. Uh, I was about to say Nick's again, but weird getting him so dressed in his kimono. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. The cape. The cape needs to stay, man. Even if you, you, you met him off again, the cape's stay, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> the cape is now part of the look. <laughs> it was a royal gift, of course. It was. I, it's increasingly looking like a really demented sci-fi <laughs> Ronin, and I like it. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the most like daintily pretty, almost lace if it was made from, I don't know, it's like spider silk or some shit, like cape, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's me. That was good. Uh, Alex? Uh, I think the first question so far covered most things from there. Um, Actually, the kind of one that Colin was saying yeah, about the captain worrying mm -hmm. about Zig, uh, just generally, I really like the way that Zora is actually quite a compassionate figure for uh, Vesk. Mm -hmm. And you can, it's almost, you can see where the issues would have been with his command and with Vesk society that drove him to working with us rather than going back to the Skyrim. Um, 
I think you can see the appeal that Zora would have had instantly for Emlyn when they met in that bar. Yeah. Like, yeah, hundred percent. When you see the way Zora actually is with people, it is a lot more depth than just yeah, I'm gonna conquer you. Like it's yeah, he's got a strange nobility to him. Mm-hmm. Um, the, you Maybe know, it's something he's... the Vesk have lost over the years, right? Yeah, it does almost feel like uh, yeah, kind of a weird concept, I guess. Yeah, from you, that's right. Because they're like almost a bit chival, uh, a bit of chivalry, mm-hmm. almost um, in Vesk form. Yeah, let's go uh, find some space windows together. Eh? Yeah, um, he doesn't really care who it is he's with as long as his crew's happy. Mm-hmm. But what if those windmills are actually um... Himanis? <laughs> <laughs> made of toilet paper <laughs> by the Greys. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, all yeah. saying is Any- shape-shifting lizard. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep with Alice. Yeah. Yep. Um, no, I did enjoy it. There was, there was a lot of... I mean, there was some silliness this episode. Was, was there? Uh, Alex? Was there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I maybe missed that. <laughs> was, it, is it, was, it, was it the 11 types of wine versus the 81 types of water versus the 67 <laughs> types? <laughs> as soon as you explained... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. The eleventh wife. Yeah. That's since the Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was. To be fair, it was as soon as you described the drink appearing in the middle and being mm. kind of pushed towards the person uh-huh. who ordered it, I was like, "That sounds flawed. Like mm. that doesn't sound. There sounds like there's a problem with that system, and I will demonstrate what it is." I should just collect um, like an air hockey table with too many pucks. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> it's like, this this is just going to push drinks off the table. <laughs> um, yeah, um, which yeah, I guess is almost something in myself that I'm enjoying bringing to weird. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's, it's a little bit more, I guess, it's a certain bit more confidence to him than Nick's um, coming through, yeah. which allows him to do that sort of stuff in front of everyone, mm-hmm. um, and almost yeah, in a bit of a playful way, as much as he can be playful. And <laughs> what I emotional. like from it as well is it almost seems like bits of. Alice have stuck with you through this change. Yeah, yeah. Insofar uh, as like you two obviously have got a bit entangled, shall we say, in the past. There has been entanglement. Yes. Uh, so I think that's been nice to see in the absence of her nonsense normally, right? Uh, she's normally the the person who would be the the kind of off tone to the scene. But yeah, it's been nice to see that. I fuck knows what's gonna happen when she comes back on scene. But yeah. Yeah. I, I like being able to bring it in, but also in quite a very logical and pragmatic way of a, look, the system isn't perfect. Mm-hmm. And that's funny to me if nobody else appreciates it. <laughs> yeah, and like, I think from a cinematic point of view as well, I like the idea of like Zora and like Lyco having a conversation across the table and you'd like it blurry just to the side of the shot. And then obviously in the middle of them, just all these cups coming out. <laughs> During their serious <laughs> conversation, like shots Until like they that. Learn yeah. Ground. Yeah. yeah. Then it obviously like shifts focus, and it's just like, "Are you good there? Weird. You got enough? Yes. Wine, and coffee. Yeah. And it's you've got just a lot got of rocket z- raccoon about it. Yeah. And then Zig just vibrating slowly, lifting a cup <laughs> as it rattles. <laughs> yeah. Sleep out of phase with the rest. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, soon enough, right? Zig is soon enough. Uh, yeah. Okay. I really like what's going with Zig because he has like it, it, there's clearly transitioning happening. It's mm-hmm. kind of more confident, independent, but it's not just flick of a switch. Like there's still yeah, you know, it's what I can do about proper development. Yeah, yeah, it's well paced, and you know, talking to him about the solar order, it's like, oh, that's a step too far. He's yeah, not sure about that. Um, and it's, so, yeah. And it- it's something as well. I was tempted like so in that scene where you mentioned the order straight away, and like weird was mm-hmm. really direct and blunt, like. The Queen would have noticed the shift in Zig straight away, but I was like, I don't think she would say anything because that is her protecting him. And mm. she doesn't do that, right? Like, yeah. that's not her thing. Um, she's not there to take a bullet for someone, for that way. And I was like, I was yeah. so close because obviously her and Zig are kind of close. And mm-hmm. she's obviously super fond of him. Because even when he was mentioned upstairs, she just smiled. Like uncontrollably so it was something there I was like oh god I actually just want to say something but I think it's me as the queen being maternal being like protect precious Zig but really I was like no because she wouldn't do that that's not her mm-hmm. her whole thing is if you're strong you get to be strong and if you're not well I mean you kind of have to get strong 
You're not going to yeah. get strong or fast in front of that for you. But no, I just think it's it's a lot of patience from Callum and discipline, I think, to kind of make that sort of development in the character. To give you an idea of how long that's been developing, yeah. the Sunny Side Up and Over Easy episodes were 29 and 30. <sighs> yeah. You stop it. Because, yeah, I know a lot of people that will get impatient and just kind of, oh, I want to be this other... I want this other aspect of the character to come through, so I'm going to jump into it. Yeah, like people that go between universes yeah. and metamorphosize through the, the meta-universe powers and come back with four arms and a different racial type, yeah? Like yeah, those people? yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't think uh, of those are offhand, but I'm sure they exist. Uh, I mean, that's what happens when you, when you ask if, uh, <laughs> if I want to change anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, you know, like I when you ask me, do I want to order a drink? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> when, when you ask me, Alex, do you want to change anything about the character? There's a new book out. Yeah. Yep. I go, okay. Perfect. Where's the limit to this? The limit was <laughs> write a spreadsheet and they'll see if I don't like it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm I'm really enjoying the changes. The only thing I'm I think is difficult is because we don't physically see a change visibly. Like I'm not looking at a four armed person constantly. I think that's yes. why I call you Nix instinctively. I, I think yeah. if I seem weird more visually yeah. i think it'd be different but that's obviously not an aspect we really work with um, yeah which is no, a bit tricky but for the tv show we'll get it sorted yeah obviously we'll make oh, sure yeah. the right yeah. actors are paid up and really it'll just be a bunch of tights stuffed with the uh, socks on top of uh, <laughs> the original actor that played next five <laughs> we have got the best budget oh um, dear well we spent it all on drinks <laughs> <laughs> we had For this to one get episode, different <laughs> types of water. <laughs> you could have just put different types of water, the same type of water, in different glasses. No, nope, no, we, we found eighty-one different types of water for you. Yep, different spirits. the realism. Yep. Um, uh, I should like that, Alex. Yeah, I love the little um, queer eye makeover for Michael like, and mm -hmm, weird yeah. as well. Yep. So, <laughs> nice to dress up. No, it was. Yourself. It was nice. I to guess this episode just felt like treating the characters because you know, yeah. not just we come along and enjoy each week. Sometimes it feels like the characters are having a bad day, mm. and I guess yeah. this was almost a little bit of a pressure valve. For I think as well, like mentally, see when you're role playing and obviously games that last over a year or whatever and run fairly mm -hmm. regularly, like it is useful for these types of sessions because I think mentally you wind down even as a player um, for yeah. your character, which is nice. Um, and particularly when, for instance, you're locked inside during the apocalypse and you're not allowed to go and have fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Having escaped into a fantasy land where we can enjoy basic things like choices of food and water. Socialising with friends. Uh, yep. Yeah, that sort of stuff. <laughs> you really want to just embody that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. Definitely is good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you for this therapy, Ryan. You are welcome. Um, <laughs> I really should charge for these sessions. Uh, <laughs> but f during the, the COVID-19 incident, uh, these will all be free. So these are welcome. Yes, thank you. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> that's my contribution to the, the solar system. <laughs> uh, are you wishing to conclude your thoughts on this session, Alex, or would you like to add more? That's everything I've said enough. No, perfect. I was actually going to say, are you done? And I thought, that's really rude, so I'm not going to say, are you done? I, I are mean, you quite finished? Because I mean that, but I don't mean it in a rude way. <laughs> How many other types of drinks do you have on this menu? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> uh, no, in fact, because we closed okay. the, we closed the game. So that's all right. We'll come back with a spreadsheet next week. Yeah, uh, Callum. Yes, um, Alex kind of touched touched on it earlier, but I'm really, actually, I'm really liking the sort of, um, kind of the two opposite ends of the scale between. Um, weird and zig mm -hmm. where weirds you know kind of just gone through this like mad transition super rapidly and just you know he's just dealt with it and just gone um down and everyone else is having to adjust to to weird as opposed to weird adjusting to everything yeah and he's then... like it is a kind of um an inverted change really it's like a kind mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. an inverted puberty almost isn't it really like for lack of a better phrasing, because instead of you being the awkward one about everything, it's everything else been like weird instead of Nix. Because I think the crew yeah. would maybe have the same vibe as well, um, where they might refer to you as Nix a lot, much like ourselves, mm. until we get good at it. Um, 
I will do my best to correct everyone if I catch it, and myself as well, because yeah. it's going to keep happening. Um, mm. That's why I made it neon in our credit screen. Folks, try not to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Ideally, no catching of anything. <laughs> Stay isolated. Hmm. Stay listening. Remain indoors. <laughs> it's still wrestling being made. You can watch the wrestling. Anyway, <laughs> Callum. Um, and uh, weird. I was about to say Nick's again. Weird and like all getting you know suited and booted was. Uh, They're really coupling I mean, this up, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's it. Oh, it was just uh, there was a lot of silliness. Um. We have chased an ooze cube around a ship Uh cargo bay with a bigger box to scoop it up. (laughs) So I don't think, like, I mean, that's peak silly for me. (laughs) Um, So it doesn't eat the ship. Yeah, that was a we had practical reasons for that, Ryan. Um, Ivan could have been swimming. But no, and 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 um, Cecil just made me so happy. Yeah, I figured you'd enjoy (laughs) Cecil. Ah, so good. Um, and Zig will always call him Cecil. I don't care what anyone. Yeah, does. it is Cecil. <laughs> uh, Maybe Cecil. Um, it was fun to throw a wee reboot reference in there for MZ that cares. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's just oh, it's so good, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Um, I did. I enjoy. I enjoyed going off on a coffee rant. It was. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, I enjoyed that too. I thought it was well done. It was. Um, it was actually really fun to just <laughs> to ramble, slurge words. <laughs> um. Because I, I feel like I feel like Zig's. It, it was kind of nice to have Zig have this sort of like I need to get lots of stuff out. Oh, coffee! Yes, that gets lots of yeah, stuff. Yeah, because it's like mind linking, but with your mouth, right? Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I, I, it, was a, it, was, it was a very good, very good therapy <laughs> session for for Callum and Zig, um, being able to vocalise some of the madness. Plus, you um, got to actually like speak to the Queen for a good chunk of it as well, which was. Um, um, well, nice for her. Again. It was. It was. It's. It's nice to have. Like, uh, it, it's like. The, oh, this is just like normality, actual fun. Mm. Um, Harkening pre, you know, episode zero. <laughs> yeah. Um. Which, which I, I think is is just like it's just. I think Zig's trying not to take it for granted but at the same time you know kind of in the moment but i think during his um like alone time um in the egg like meditating and stuff i think he's probably got that in his mind that the the, the fear sort of, of like these good times obviously never last mm-hmm. um that's probably so a constant reminder of graduation day about it. for you yeah um but obviously in the moment it's like He's just staying in the moment. It's, so it's, 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 I think it's quite a nice little little step. And uh, it's, it's just nice for Zig. <laughs> yeah, I thought so as well. Um, to have niceness. <laughs> it's nice to have niceness. And then you went and spoiled it all by mind linking. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm actually... Well, really. Callum's kind of bummed out by that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Um, but, you know, it is what it is. To be fair... You made your own bed. It's about being honest. Yeah. And if anything, it's going to be interesting to see what the follow-up from that is. Um, yeah. Especially sure. since she literally just got, like, got up and left as soon as that happened. Because um, keep in mind, she's obviously, like as she said to you, like she's had to go through a lot recently and she's like, yeah, I just got angry and there was no point. <laughs> um, and obviously maybe she got angry again. And obviously, didn't see a point yes. in sharing that. So, because obviously, she's not going to be angry at you. Let's face it; it's going to be angry at the fact no, that like, she has been like her life's been stolen from her. Quite frankly, whereas like yeah, it's you been... opted in to the solar monastery, you know, you maybe didn't opt into that year of your life being stolen. Do you know what I mean? So it's stuff like mm-hmm. that that you've kind of got, um, like a microcosm of her situation. Yeah, so it's it's gonna be really it's gonna be really interesting. To... Um, but yeah, overall, I just really I really I really enjoyed that nice to have downtime. Yeah, that's why I think um... it was also it was also really handy for me, obviously missing last week. Um, mm-hmm. To yeah. to kind of like have that sort of like right get 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 back into 
to terms with the, with you know the crew and yeah i think syncing everything back up again is useful because sometimes you do feel like you miss a beat when like you've maybe missed a session and like a lot of dialogue has happened or the story's moved because obviously you moved from Castraval obviously to the drift space when you missed us last time so yes. it, it can sometimes feel like oh what what is the vibe of the situation like easing back into that with some downtime is always brilliant because I mean we literally could have just went right cool we're at Akaton which I know a lot of groups do I just like to give you guys the chance to build on shit because let's face it this is where some of the the actual weight of the game comes from, right? These these kind of moments where people just talk to each other, share stuff. Even like Lyco's moment in the the bridge with the queen right at the, the start, and it's just him and her talking away, and her being like, "You don't really trust me, do you?" And he's like, "No, it's not that." And she goes, mm, "Maybe you should be on my council because you speak plainly. But maybe you need to be on my council so people don't kill you for that." So, yeah, like she clearly likes you guys as a group because obviously you have been very useful. And I don't mean that to like undercut the fact that she seems to like you guys, but her methods maybe could use a lot of curtailing, uh, given that she's very direct. But anyway, um, anything I should like. You to lock add? someone up for long enough, you know they're going to be angry. Yeah. Yeah. She's well peeved. Maybe she's the Hulk out of her Avengers <laughs> ensemble. I, uh, <laughs> I look forward to getting onto Akaton and. Uh... And yes. seeing what we have to say about the Queen situation in our absence. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, because you're going to have to deal with Ramasethu, Conspiracy Craig, phoning Alice, and the Queen. Never mind any potential legal ramifications from her buoy that she sent out. It's a lot sure. going on, right? A lot going on. Yeah. Um, but we'll deal with that next time. Uh, anything else anyone wants to add? No Colin. Um, no. <laughs> Yeah, really well done for well done wow. for keeping this madness in some sort of <laughs> yeah like it's quite impressive i feel like it, it, it went in a good direction again sometimes you get the best sessions when people just sit and talk shit at each other which is good uh, i really enjoy that some like i've said it before some of my absolute favorite sessions i've ever been in have literally just been conversations yeah porch time am i right so yep yeah, little kids hitting you in the shins with wooden arrows. Yep. Let you my favourite. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks, guys, for playing as always. We'll catch up in the next Thank wonderful you. time. I'll see everyone. Thanks for listening. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.